go. Uh, right, okay, with that then, folks, we can get on with tonight's goddamn show. Cast Radio. This is Dog Cast Radio. Oh, the intro, huh? No! No, no speaking over the intro. No, because you ruined it! Hey, okay, stop fucking Just keep it to yourself. Hey, you need to speak, man. Yeah, so, oh. Shut up! Sorry. But this is the beginning of it, sick. Come Will you shut up? up? Oh, ye. That's it, big boy voice. Hold on. We're nearly there. Uh, uh, I'll bit. Wait, our wife's I'm nearly there. Hello there, folks, and welcome to potentially the best podcast that you've ever heard, the DHB Radio Show. I am, of course, the Sasquatch Scott Taylor, probably the only man to ever uh, actually see a Bigfoot in real life. Because I mean, I mean I've, I've had some horrible exes, I can tell you. Um, how are things with you, all you guys out there in the real world? It's been a while. We've, we've missed a show last week because Daddy Sasquatch, you had a... My had fucking a, OCD's gone through the fucking roof because we are a sequence. Well, this is the problem, you see, and this is why we're recording tonight, because we had to miss last week due to scheduling issues with my good self. I nearly bought me our chicken. So well, that's, uh, you're, so, probably, you're probably sitting there thinking, fit in lurch by because we fucking didn't come more. Well, I said, buy his emotions. I've discovered a thing, folks, there, there in the real world. Nay I've discovered a thing that, that um, if Diet I. Chips for fucking ice if we miss. <laughs> if we fuck off. If we. If we, we didn't plug in the light. Oh, if we, if oh, we miss I'll a show. I'll get on it. Get on it. If we miss a show, uh, it turns out that uh, Lurch's OCD kicks into fucking overdrive. Rise up! The poor man this whole week has been badgering us through WhatsApp. He's been phoning, texting, like, when are we doing a show? Come in. So I've had to agree to do a show tonight and then a show again next week to get us back on the schedule we're on before, seemingly, because right. otherwise your brain's going to explode at your head. There's a there's a bit underneath the table, Steve. There's like, there's like a hanging dong. Sorry. Oh, Technical sorry. difficulties. <laughs> yes. yes, we're getting back onto the um, doing the shows next week because yes. I'm going to fucking flip my shit. Why, why does it mess with your brain so much as having a, a kind of irregular schedule? Because this is like my night for just sitting binging films. Oh, he's interrupted me during the middle of fucking best bit of Predator uh, Terminator 2. I do have, I do have like proper, but in fact, before we carry on, sorry, let me kind of bring in the rest of the guests here on the show tonight. Can I get an intro, please? We do have, uh, oh, hello! sorry. <laughs> we do need to get a clear clip of you saying hello, because we've had requests for people to cut that and have it as a ringtone or a message <laughs> notification on their phones. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm constantly fucking evolving. Eh? You really are. I'm sexy, pal. Everything yeah. changes. It's wonderful. <laughs> um, we also have tonight on the show. On tonight's show, we have the wonderful, of course, oh. Stevosaurus. How are you doing, oh, Stevosaurus? The wonderful. No, the wonderful ones at home. The wonderful ones at home. Wonder, yeah, this is just me. Oh, okay. Morning about fine. everything as usual. Oh, Jesus, man. Since that, since that brain problem you've had, you've been a miserable shit. I've no idea what you're on about. Exactly. I can't remember. <laughs> Kyle, of course, we do have the wonderful uh, Tallulah Hot Sauce. Tallulah, how are you doing? I'm good, but if you're on Twitch, just don't even look at me. I'm what? feeling disgusting. Do you really feel disgusting? Yeah. Um, I mean, you don't, you don't look disgusting. You look a little Aww, bit disheveled. disheveled. Sorry. No, I mean, you're a very handsome chap. Oh, that's very kind of you. If I swung that away, I'd probably throw you a length. But I'm really? not like a, I'm not like oh, a man, you see. would know? love so that, wouldn't she? She would love that. Imagine us two together. She'd be like, my steps on. Could you imagine the sound it would make? Oh, oh God. God. It would be like, like two beached I'd whales. Say, and I would be like, like docking two fucking harbour boats. I like yeah. the Titanic and the Olympia oh, going at Oh, God, it. it would be rough. Mm. Um, so, yeah, you've had a, a bit of a, a strenuous time recently. Uh-huh, you are, you're yeah. a bit dishevelled. In I'm, fact, in fact, folks, if you're watching the show live, I'm going to flip you to the uh, to the other camera right now, the three cameras. And you can see, you'll see on our third camera, there is a, a freestanding microphone there. Uh, and Lurch's studio kitchen here that we were going to offer to you, uh, Kyle, because you are having trouble, I believe, sitting down. Yeah, in the rear end. The rear end's a bit, a bit damaged. Didn't you say God. it was like a chewed up Pringle yeah, can? Yeah, my arse is, you know, like when the dog gets to your nice shoes and they just get a bit mangled in Oh, the beginning? yes, yes. That's my arsehole, but imagine that in a Pringles tube. You have any idea? Oh, no. Oh, it's no bonnie. Because you were away, I believe, in holiday, weren't you, recently? Yeah, I was away at the dam. The dam? The dam. I, sorry, can little... we just step back a second? What, what flavour are Pringles? Can we, can we step back Maybe a further a barbecue? For, a for, for else are you going to be sitting on a part for your rear end? <laughs> you like to know. Oh. <laughs> we'll get okay. that later. Oh dear. Um, so uh, you've been away to the dam, probably. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I don't know what happened there. Go it too big for your face. So, my, Bob Fleming. my fucking Bob Fleming went completely nuts there. So you've told your mother, listen, mum, I'm going to win holiday by myself again, and I'm going to Amsterdam. Now, what was her reaction? Because let's face it, Amsterdam, you only go there if you're single because you're tending to get either stoned or pumped. Ooh, here, question. Okay. Travel question. Thick colour of the lights that you were gone for. Oh. 
No, that's, a, that's a good point, actually. See? That's why I'm here. Depends what you were taking, I guess. Is there different lights for different tastes? I don't know. So there's there? the red light district, but is there yeah. any like blue lights if you're in an I, ambulance? Yes. <laughs> if you're paralytic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going for um, no lights, ideally, because I'm. If I'm getting fucked, I'm not exactly like pretty well I'm doing it, am I? <laughs> right. I'm going for no lights. No all, lights, okay, okay. And then maybe like a very dim lamp after. <laughs> just so I can find my glasses so again. With a wet so wipe. And wipe. Ah, yes. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. A Black baby wipe and a damp lamp. A UV light's probably what you're needing. Mm-hmm. Probably. Does, does, it, does it look like a bottle of dropped milk? Ooh. Kind like of. Actually, I love like it. Like it, looks, it looks like somebody's thrown a Miller yogurt against the wall. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh no! Oh, can you imagine oh, that? Yeah, rice one surely. It absolutely crunch like, corner. Oh, I, oh, oh, oh God! <laughs> oh. No, it looks like somebody's thrown like an ambrosia rice pudding up against my arse. Hole. So when you go to the dam, right? Now, obviously, I like lumpy. If What's you go there, if you go there, know, if you go there as a single street male, I've been there before as a single street male during a Scotland game. Obviously, you tell your know, friends, oh, I'm going to see a Scotland game when really all you want to do is look at boobs wow. and red light district. Now, I do know from experience that at the very heart of the red lights, you've got like the super model quality ladies and windows. You know, the ones who are like surgeried up to the, te- the, the tits, basically. The ones next to the church. Basically, yes. Yeah. But but then as you go to the kind of outer rims of this kind of circle of redness, the redness gets a little bit, I don't know, more kind of dimmer. Like dimmer yeah. um, and, and the quality gets a little bit less until you get to the very outskirts of the red lights. And you've got like, I mean, we saw... <laughs> and they're paying you. Well, kind of, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, they were scary at the outskirts. So, I mean, is there is there a zone if you're looking for like I mean, a... I mean, you know me, I'm not really looking it for the, the rainbow rest. zone. Well, the rainbow zone. It was zone. the rainbow zone. It was on my, on my phone on Grindr. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Yeah, was, there was a lot of um, cruising bars. Okay. So you know how we've talked about the gay spas yes, okay. before? Yes, okay. Gay spas, yes. I think they have like gay bars. A gay but, spas. No, 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 no. No, gay spas. I know. Oh, right. Spa, okay. A spa. Yeah, like a spa. Yeah. yeah, we got into that last time. I was waiting to Jesus leaving them dribbling for bay then. Get that man a baby wipe. Uh, wow. Anyway. So I've been a bit dazed. Okay. Because um, I actually <laughs> thought to myself, you know when you go abroad and you learn, hello, hello, my name is... Bonjour. Uh-huh. Yeah, hello, yeah. Like, goodbye, all that sort of Und thing. Und pilsner belief. Well, you never... <laughs> you, never think, yes. you never think to learn harder or slower or, oh my God, please get that out of me because it's the size of Scott Taylor's arm. Uh, oh, see, no. You never, ever you, think you, that, you're you? maybe too young to remember the film Euro Trip. I uh, know. Right, sorry. okay. So there's a scene in that film where a guy goes into a sex parlor in Amsterdam mm-hmm. and they give him a safe word. It's just oh. right now, he doesn't even read it, he just puts it in his pocket. But his safe word is also oh. my WhatsApp status and it's something like Flagankachek in Bolson or something. It's a really fucking complex oh. word. And I'm pretty sure it's made up of like three different languages smashed together into one word oh. that isn't even a real word. Flagankachek in Bolson. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Can um, you find us if we can use it as a show name? <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> I like how fucking Scott was wanting Kyle jealous there. I know, yeah. where I can fart with it going, ha! Oh. So when you were in Amsterdam, were the police detectives over there called Clever Clogs? That was so shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. it's a night. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of clogs, can I just say that tonight... I, I know, that's just right? what I was fucking segueing. Tonight, to right, Clever Clogs, is that tonight I have come to the show... Thinking I was being unique, thinking I was starting a whole new trend in the world of Don't, podcasting. Claire's gonna fucking disown us. I don't give a fuck. I'm steaming right oh, in right no. now because um, I am wearing my quick response Crocs and socks, right? And then let me before now, Steve. I can see the disdain in your eyes. I can see the hate, it, uh, but let me explain what these bad boys do to you, right? When you've got a genuine pair of Crocs. They've got like a rib, they're ribbed for your pleasure. They've got the, the sole inside is a slightly, is your, are, your, are yours ribbed? Oh, I'm fully, yeah. He's yeah. fully ribbed, right? Um, so you put on socks to just negate the ribbon a little bit, you see, because you don't want to be getting your feet massaged while you're on a show. But also, if you need to leave the house quick, like I do, for example, Pedro goes off, Scott runs the door, quick response, Crocs, I'm out the door. Now I've got them on slip-on mode, not sports mode. Sports mode, of course, you'll know. Oh, Kyle, I know. I'm aware. You flip the old band at the back of the heel. Sports mode. Those bad boys are going nowhere. You see, and not only that, but you feel, but you feel stylish because you know you, your feet can breathe. There's holes all over these bad boys. You're okay. You're wearing socks. I think you know? you're confusing stylish with homeless. I arrived here. <laughs> I arrived here thinking you know that I was starting a whole new trend. I was being an innovator in podcasting, as we always are, of course. And then I realised that that Kyle was there before me. He's arrived in contrasting different colour. 
Crocs. Also with socks. Go, 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 go swap a fucking left foot each and just have What size feet are you, Kyle? These are a 13. <laughs> I'm a 14. But I'm also a 14. Let's These do it, right? 13. I'll give you my right foot. <laughs> okay. Give me your right foot. Okay. okay. I'll have to turn Actually, left. Okay. I actually thought you were going to burst into Power Rangers. Seems oh, my God. Go, 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 Power Rangers. Kyle's got big feet too, right? <laughs> right. What the fucking Here's feet are you doing? Take a right foot, for fuck's right sake. Right. His right, right or foot. your right? Okay, I've got, I've got his right now. Oh, oh, oh it works. <laughs> Why do yours feel a bit looser than mine as well, too? I've got bigger fucking... Uh, but he's, he's loose. Well, sure your foot chain now. is arse. Because uh, <laughs> I wore these to Amsterdam. <laughs> oh, no! Is that why it's a bit spongy? That's why they're white. Oh! <laughs> they started off black. This is a new trend right now. Mismatched Crocs. Oh, I feel um, gay as fuck right now. I know. Kyle, I'm, I'm keeping these bad boys. That's hey, it. it. We're done. No, mine are comfier than yours. You were you leaving here in mismatched mm, Crocs. I'm no, telling no, you right... God. What yeah. do you mean yours are comfier? These are... Mine are genuine fucking top-of-the-shelf Crocs I've got on. Sir, are mine? Mine are from GD? Are they though? Because oh, I can't feel the ridges. Up. Shut up. What do you mean yours are from GD? What's GD? I'm a real brand. <laughs> Gay dudes? Of what the fuck is... GD for fuck. I've no idea what GD is. So yeah, so I believe that we're starting. Stephen, you could sleep in these. They're wonderful. Good. I need to apologise. I uh, I didn't actually have any dinner tonight because every time I come here, I'm full and then I eat anyway. So I was like, right, I'm not going to eat dinner because okay. I'll just come here and eat shit anyway and then I'll go home feeling like shit because I've eaten too much. Mm -hmm. So... Now I'm sitting here going, I'm fucking starving, and all I can keep doing is picking up food. Just so you know as well, too, the rubes has outed me in the chat because you're a raving the kids. <laughs> the kids, we we bought the kids Crocs for so many lessons because you know put them in their made their costumes. That is child abuse. Put them on, put them in Crocs, but we but, but we bought them mocks. Right, they're not quite Crocs, oh. but they're mocks. You Mock see, croc, what's the that? kids get mocks. Daddy gets genuine Crocs. That they extra get two pound I think though, exactly. sometimes we say, well, it's because I want the real ones, but it's because we're a big cunt, so not a lot of fakes are fits. I'll That's say. a good point, actually, mm, Kelly. So you it's, know, either it's the Crocs or the daft fit. Thank God you're on the show because somebody appreciates my fucking I do, pain. Actually, you know what? I know, but it's sad that you, you know, it's just another episode of you abusing your kids, really. <laughs> Neglect, <laughs> if you ask me. Wow. It's it's a way to hurt them without like getting having to go to the it's hospital. It's emotional, isn't it? So we've had physical, we've had neglect, we've had emotional. Take your now. fucking white clothes back, you <laughs> fucking bastard! Well, for yeah. fuck's sake, here you go, your shit yeah. back. Give me my fucking beautiful blue fucking it's brand new. By one. far, one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. Oh, See if you <laughs> pair a cunt's end up with athlete's foot, I'll be fucking laughing. Uh, See if I get herpes of the toes, I'll be fucking hell to pay. I tell you right <laughs> now. <laughs> for your fucking end. <laughs> so the chance of either of them getting fucking athletes on end though. So I know. <laughs> I'll be looking at guys in my fucking foot. <laughs> oh, like you've got a fat bastard foot. <laughs> I was totally going to give you a broom tooth there, but I don't think it's on this board here for fuck's sake. Oh, no, it sticks. It sticks. Oh, yes, oh, it does. Please I, don't. It does. It sticks. sticks. What happens? It, it, well, it sticks, it sticks no, after don't. Scotty fucking hit the, hit, the, hit the board with some juice and it fucked it. So. What do you mean it sticks? How, how, well, I may have... I may have... Like, does it just keep going? Pervade... Yes, yeah, sorry. Bidums, bidums. Let's see. Let's try it. One. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Fuck okay. it. Maybe it needs Ready? more drink. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I feel ill. Well, not cricket. No, I fucked it. Oh, <laughs> please just see stop. if it happens. Is that button not meant to be green? Uh, no, okay, it's meant to be fine. red for recording. Ooh, oh, fuck you! Smash that button, would you, Kyle? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Bump. Shows over cunts. <laughs> Did you do this? There we go. Um, so, so tell me more, Kyle. I'm, I'm intrigued by it. You see, because I don't know. I don't know how the culture yeah, works. And so. Like, obviously, when you are grinding, or grindering, mm -hmm. sorry, grindering, I apologise. You mention in your bio that you wear Crocs. No, I don't. <laughs> like I, so when I'm over there, I say, um, what did I, put? I put something like, um, you're, you're Croc friendly. Or something along the lines of like, <laughs> like, a CK, you're, so, you're Sco a, like Scottish young bitch or something like that. You're lots, a Croc ally. Love, sort of uh, are, are Crocs like, like I know that as, as a heterosexual male, central, we're all like, oh God. Oh, Crocs but, weren't the central point of my week away in Amsterdam. But, but they, they are to are us, though, Kyle. Are now. Well, the cocks yeah. weren't, but the cocks were. The, oh, wow, okay. Do you know what I mean? Why don't you just drop the, the microphone there in fucking right repulsion? Hey, none of us know what you mean. <laughs> no, not a single one of us knows what you mean <laughs> when it comes to the, the cock. Cisgendered males. Oh. Cisgendered, seemingly we are. That's, that's the, 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 the terminology we have to only use now. Only two of you are cisgendered males. How do you mean only two of us are cisgendered One of you is definitely a little bit gay. Well, I mean, what are you trying to say, like? Travis Steve's about. I'll let you figure it out between yourselves, but 
Don't give me that fucking side eye. Can I never give you no can side you stop? eye. He, he come in here and I swear to fuck, he just started eye fucking me. It was the most horrendous thing ever. I'm sat here with a casual fucking vest. On. But do you know why, Lurchy? And I'll tell you exactly Did why. You look like a really shit Jed word. Exactly. You're sitting there with your shirt buttoned <laughs> to about five buttons. Okay vest on. A bit of the fucking, the bit of the uh, chest hair poking look at top that. of the low cock vest. Go, look. go and get a, get a camera on this man. I'll get a camera on this man. Wait, two let, me just, let me just get the, the cameras what on. What the fuck sorry. is this? He needs Look a gold medallion. Here we go. You're like a straight Freddie Mercury. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, well, that was more like that. I like a... Gabagool I made just earlier. That was, it this was amazing. That. It's hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Um, that was like the first word of that when I... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> but a little bit of... Asphodacious. <laughs> I mean, you are showing a decided amount of uh, chest drug there, Lurchy. I mean, is that... I've been busy cooking. Is that I'm not trimmed? complaining. I mean, no one's moaning about it, you know? I mean, you're a handsome chap, and we'll let it slide. We'll let it slide you know, but... Uh, you know. Time. These two cunts sitting there wearing Crocs give me fucking fashion advice, can't the Yeah, fuck? we will. Oh, we will, because it's fucking... This is... It's got us down with the kids. You are wearing safety boots, to be fair. This is the boots I've worn for like 20 years. See, that explains the, the smell. The, the difference yeah. being largely though is that Kyle's wearing Crocs because it's not very healthy to go on your bare feet in a cubicle in a public lobby in a fucking Amsterdam with no, I, with nothing in another hand. Bog. <laughs> exactly. I, Whereas I'm wearing I'm Crocs because no. I'm, I'm old and broken and shit. You see, I don't care about fashion anymore. Get your fucked lot you know. So Crocs are good for me. <laughs> You know, I remember a time when some European public toilets weren't toilets. They were just to be kind of foot pads <coughs> with a hole in the ground. Oh, That's really? good grounds to go into the toilet with fucking waders on, man. Did they? Well, see, for a while there, when I was in the dam as well, they, I think they had a problem with folk, like public urination was a big thing. Because obviously you had lots of tourists in the red lights. They were just pissing yeah. the dam, pissing the river, pissing the buildings. So they built these, they're not even cubicles. They're like, like almost like kind of circular, like towers. Okay. So you'd, you'd go in this tower and you, it would kind of circulate to a, an inner point. So you're walking around a circle for the inner point, right. and you stand and piss in there. Right. But you could see out the top, because okay. it, like, it, it would come up to your chest height, and it came... Just wink at people. It was like your knee height to your... Yeah. So yeah, so you're like chest height to knee height, you're in this cubicle thing, you see, you're pushing oh, away. Be able to see you. And everyone's walking past, knowing exactly what you're doing, and looking you dead in the eye. And you know, masturbating. Like, putting me... Now, I get, I get camera shy anyway when I'm having a piss. <laughs> you know, if you go to a public lobby and someone comes up beside you, I get, I get, I get shy. I'm like a piss shy. Where you're like, I just won't come out because there's somebody beside me who's oh, okay. peeing before I am, you know. And then they think I'm weird because I'm having my cock in my hand and I'm not pissing. Do you know something? It's, it's popped into my mind not that long ago. I can't remember why, but it's because it's fresh in my memory. I mm. feel like I need to tell you now in this moment because it's kind of related. Yes. I was at the cinema a long time ago, uh, and I went in the toilet. It was the first guy there, and you know, there's like what, six urinals. It, it, it's yes, the one yeah. at the beach, yeah. So normally, in, normally a small one, two for kids. Yeah, one right at the very end. So I go at the very opposite end because I'm like, right, I'll start one end and then that gives everyone a gap and then I, oh, thank you very much. Take a wave or drink it all. You know, <laughs> and then you go for, obviously the, the man rules are gap, piss, gap, piss, gap, gap piss, piss, yes, yeah, so, But because there's only like, what, five or six, the guy that comes in next to me stands, gap, him, and then it's gap, little one. Okay, right. And this guy walks in who's like possibly about four foot, six and he walks up and uses oh, the little one because really? obviously he's sticking to the etiquette and uh that's delightful i just i just so happened to glance across because you know there's movement in my peripheral and i'm like oh i look around and the guy in between us looks around at the guy but he looks around and then you can visibly see his head tilt down <laughs> to look at the guy <laughs> and then he just goes <laughs> and like no and turns back and looks straight in front of him and that set me off and i was like giggling like fuck and I'm like <laughs> like laughing and the more I laughed the more he laughed and then we were like crying laughing like proper like no. he 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 and this you poor guy is fucking raging at the of course he is <laughs> I'm like, don't make eye contact no, no. and he was like you know I he was that short I had to look down to see him and I was just like holy <laughs> fuck this poor cunt I'm trying not to look at him laughing like fuck and the poor guy just washed his hands meanwhile me and this other guy just stood, <laughs> not even pissing just staring at the wall, laughing like children. It was fucking ace. Holy fuck. One of the fuck. funniest things I've ever seen. Like, I feel really bad. Yes. Like picking on the poor guy, but fucking hell, man. Did it feel kind of cathartic because you've spent so long being mocked for being this shorter guy at the party? Is that now you're like somebody else came up behind you who was even smaller? And they're like, ha ha ha, look at you, you fucking half pint. I would be lying if I said, no. No. <laughs> uh, it was fucking ace. It was wonderful. The, the, the View guy. Cinema's got like the little one, the sort of one that's like, fucking kneecap height what you know and see yes. whenever i go and see a film I'll, i was if i go into the lobbies and it's just me I'll, i was pushing a little well, yeah. and I'll try and, like, see wow. how flat you know it's like giggling it's like billy madison i'm just waiting to fall backwards and get covered in piss and 
Oh, Magic. Is there Magic. even a small part of you that like no, thinks about taking a yeah. shit in it just for a laugh? Well, yes. <laughs> It's like <laughs> drop a juice. Somebody I'm walking in with their kid, bursting with a piss, and there's a grown man having a shit in the fucking beer drain. I'm learning a lot about using this start to I don't know. It's, it's like Steve and I spoke about this on the way in here. You see, too, that is that is that you, you, <laughs> what? you what? do things, shitting in kids' shoes. Well, no, but you know, <laughs> doing things that are like fucking super horrible, but because of the shock value, it's like fucking hilarious. Yeah. Like, I, I remember back in my old job bouncing when I was working in a certain venue, and across the road, they had one of those, like, freestanding rhinos. You know, the ones that are kind of uh, square shape, and there's a, on each corner of the square, there is a, a piss box. Oh, yes. Yes, I. And I saw a man come up one night, and it was it was busy, peak time, there's folk walking past, parties and hen parties and couples, and, and he quite kind of stood there and dropped his kegs, pants, right down the ankles, and then just took a shit in the fucking what? urinal hole. And it was the funniest thing. I mean, everyone was horrified. There was people screaming. There was women throwing fucking things, glasses at them. You dirty that, bastard! But I found it of, fucking hilarious. So that I think you're, you look back maybe 20 years. In early 2000s in particular, it was a lot of shock humour. Yes. That's when Blippi was shitting on his mate, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. Right, yes. so you, you go back to like early 2000s and that's what people did. Anything that was like shocking was, was also yes, considered I, funny at the time. Yes. And I think that, that style of thing was quite funny back then. The same with, with being like cunty. It was quite, yeah, quite funny kinda, for a well, while. But though, we've lost that now. Yeah, I don't... I, just, I look back... Hindsight's a wonderful thing. I look back and I think, it's really not funny. Although, kinda. although I am still kind of no, cunty I to people. I still giggle. Funny. I think it depends how you look at it, isn't it? Yeah. Like, like, even like Frankie Boyle and stuff, like, I still think even if his old stuff's funny, but I understand that now it isn't maybe as acceptable. I don't know. It's, well, it's, yeah. it's perfectly acceptable. It's just there's more people get offended by shit. Yeah, and I think that um, it's hard for you to draw the line nowadays. Oh, people, of course, people, yes. People are obsessed with their feelings. I think it's... Um, things can be thrown... At people when oh boys, don't get me fucking started with shit. Well, well yeah, that's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, that's fucking, that we could do a whole show with this because me fucking bonkers. The whole like, idea of being a comedian is there's a line. A comedian takes oh, gotcha. you that line and then takes you over that fucking exactly. line. And exactly. Exactly. If you're fu- it's subjective. If you're fucking offended or no, shut the fuck up. Get on with your life. Like right now in the states, for example, and we're being a bit serious here, of course. But right now in the states, like if you're a comedian in the states, unless you're one of the big hitters. Unless you're Bill Burr, unless you're Dave Chappelle, unless you're Louis C.K., all these people here who've done some like, like fucking big shit, but they can get away with saying things over the line because if you try and cancel them, it's not going to work because no, they're too, too big. Yeah. They're too big. But for lesser known comedians now, certainly in the US, I know I've heard about this, is that the big problem is, is that anything you say that pokes fun at anybody is you, you're getting torn down, you're getting cancelled you're getting attacked, you know, you're getting picketed, you know, you're getting, you're getting torn apart online. Twitter's ripping into you because you said a joke that's maybe made fun of whatever this, that, or the next. Some minority. You know. it, well, exactly, yeah. So, the half percent. And that's kind, of where the, uh, that's kind of a little bit where we stand these days too, is we can't quite be as as com- comedic as we maybe were back maybe 10 years ago, um, but, but, for better or for worse, who knows? Yeah, but, but is that you know, the fear that's stopping us? It's kind of fear. You know, yeah. I don't know. For I me, think... it's a little bit because my I've got I've got two jobs that I cannot risk losing it's or saying up. a bad word on the internet. It's oh, fucked up know? because do you know how many people got arrested for posting something on social media? Three and a half thousand people got arrested last year for posting something on social media. Really, that people found offensive. Oh, okay. really? And there was one lassie. She went to try that. What do you think? Sorry to cut in there. Sorry to go off track, guys, but Lurch has handed me a, a like a, 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 I like it. It just a shot to it was, of looks, something. It looks like bull's milk. It kind of looks like bull's milk, doesn't it's it? Liquor, I think I've tried that before. It's liquor 43 <laughs> and rum chata. <laughs> liquor 43 and rum chata. Try it. If I wake up no. at fucking four in the morning in a ditch Salty. somewhere with Mars, we'll hang it with me. Hold on, that sounds like me again. <laughs> Mark's at a 10. Oh, that's wonderful. That is delightful, Lurchy. <laughs> I won't even say it. <laughs> that is, uh, that's easily, like a, that's up there. That's, that's the top what, tier. Yeah. Oh, hey, man. The, um, Thank you very much. Going back to the fear, I don't think it's Sorry, a fear. Yes. I think there's a, I, I would say I have possibly matured over the last 10 years. Yes. And there's an element of, like you say, work. I'm not, I don't really care. I don't think my work know I do this. And if they did, I would deny it. Um, 
I just know it's some guy. I came into my work one day with my manager and the deputy manager both sit listening to a show. And I was like, oh, fucking wonderful. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, it's my double ganging at it again. <laughs> yeah, that's it yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've seen, yeah, folk have sent me links to him. <laughs> no, um, my work, I'm, I don't know. I don't think I would be overly fussed. If I got sacked, they'd be like, well, I'll just get a job somewhere else. You know? Oh, okay. Of all the people that got uh, arrested, one that stuck, out, that stuck out in my mind that I saw was a lassie, her friend's brother had died so she posted a song with the lyrics okay and this song might have contained a word quite a few times that started with n okay right she got nostalgia she got 500 hours community service neurodivergence she got a tag and she'd be in her house at eight uh, eight in the morning she could leave and she'd be him at eight night 500 hours community service narcissism for posting lyrics I mean to a fucking song holy shit I, what like, was the n-word oh, that's him, him shiting himself he's fucking what, what was the n-word <laughs> done no no I'm saying nothing but ne- uh, uh, necromantic 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 I get it like so offended big yeah. D&D fan okay like folk are obviously like like, like Brianna Taylor and obviously like you know say their name like folk are dying like and it is like a lot of racist tendencies but like at the same time like yeah I get it like folk are it was a problem like yes. saying the word like just is like giving power to it in a way, but then okay. at the same time, like I think if we can't look at some things like the F, like the, the starts with F ends in got. Yes, like, that doesn't bother me at all because mm. like, if we give it power, then it has power. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Forgot. Well, forgot. Well, that's I, the one. Yes, it sounds I, like you. Making fun of Steve there, eh? Right, exactly. Yeah. No, but I mean, like, um, I think sometimes that folk are so quick to jumping like well, that offends me and yeah it can offend you but i think mm-hmm. sometimes folk need to take a look and be like yeah okay and like it's subjective yeah it, is, it kind of is perfect. yeah if you were to, if you were to turn around to me and said we don't like you you're um you're the f word yes you're the big the f and the god i thought you give us a pass on that well while yeah back. but if you'd said it in a harmful <laughs> way i think then yeah, yeah okay yeah. fair enough but Things like that. Like it's the clearly, intention of the word. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. yeah. But there's a comedian exactly. in America called Chris DiStefano. Yes. And I think he's quite funny. And his dad is like of that jet. He's 70, well in his 70s. And um, it's the stuff he says about his son that's fucking hilarious. Kind of like, I'll come in and he's got like a, a fancy polo neck on. He goes, oh, I didn't kind of have a fucking gay son. Eh? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Like is he'll tell him like dad you can't eat like a hill half a tray of lasagna you're gonna get on well he goes oh I didn't raise up the yeah, word. Yeah. and he's like oh <laughs> see it's name meant in malice it's just language it, kinda yeah exactly and that's the but that's the problem though is that like and I've said before a because thousand times in this show behind it I think yeah that's, that's, that's kind of a conversation with some country then I put emojis they're like oh I don't know get but even now with emojis it's still a case of you know well you can't say that because you're you're, you're using a yellow emoji exclusionary to this group or that group or this group and it's it's it, and I, I appreciate that and I respect that but also you know you have the you fully have the right to be offended by anything I say but you don't have the right to tell me that I can't do it or I or I can't express myself exactly. a certain way or I can't exactly. you know exactly you can't you can't you can't tell me that I can't do it, but you've the right to say that you that you personally don't like it. That's fine. Brussels cool. All right. I've got one for you. Me. I hate the bastards. They offend the fuck out of me. But you want to <laughs> see me student eyes? I go, well, he's up. That's it. <laughs> I'm going to test this one. You can't say the N word. I cannot. Yeah, see. No, I cannot. <laughs> so I can tell you those words you can't say. <laughs> there is words I can't say, yes. <laughs> can we get back on the humour? Yes, okay, I fine. Have to, I actually need to go, I'm so sorry. You have to go right now. Well, no, Kyle, yeah. then I'll go just yet. Just get two oh, seconds. Always up. Well, okay. he kind of has to go because he's no, waiting. I'll wait five right. minutes. Can so, we see where you're going? Pretty sure they're not going yeah, anywhere. I'm work, picking up dead people. He's picking sorry. up dead people. He has to go. He got a, he's got a call saying, go pick up some dead people. <laughs> they're sat here, Kyle. Put you on a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I want, Appointment right. with Bruce Willis. After the sticker will be. So. What is the best celebrity porn video you've seen? I think it's safe that I don't celebrity answer Celebrity porn video. Is this, are they celebrities and they're a already leaked. porn stars? No, 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 no. Because no, they're no. celebrities or are they celebrities and they Because they've been in porn video. or... A leaked celebrity porn. If it's the best one you've seen. The ever best seen. one I've seen. I haven't really like, seen many. Really? I think I've only ever seen one. Really? That I can think of. Hell, there's a multitude Which of fucking hours of porn. WWE Superstar Page. Really? Along with uh, two oh, wrestlers, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I tell you, one holding a title belt <laughs> while they just threw man sauce over it. Sausage, you know that we that we <laughs> arsehole Ben Shapiro, that oh, annoying little yes, guy right. that you see videos of on the internet. I have seen a link to it. I've not seen it because I didn't really care at the time. 
but it was a link to his sister doing like smutty stuff. And I was like, ah, no way, ha-ha, oh, he'll no. be raging. <laughs> I thought that was amazing. <clears throat> and then I finally seen a page of his sister. I was like, she's stacked. Yeah. <laughs> she's got <laughs> massive boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I should have looked. <laughs> if you got it flaunted. Yeah. Well, for me, it was Chuck Berry. Chuck what? Who's Chuck Berry? Who, Chuck Berry. Fucking, Johnny Be Good. You better song, leave right now, Bob. Uh, oh, Johnny Be Good, that one. Yes. Yes. So, Chuck Berry, right? Chuck Berry. <laughs> How did you see a this Chuck is Berry? These are going to love this, right? So, porn video. He, um, so, like, everybody in, like, every famous sort of 50s, 60s sort of musician right. that went to shit with cocaine in the 80s and all that kind of, like, James Brown, the best interview with James Brown is, like, he's getting interviewed I've for, seen like, that one. he's been arrested for, like, coke charges and all that kind of <laughs> stuff and barking a wifey and the last he's interviewed him on TV and he's, you could tell he's fucked. He's just, yeah, he's just out his like, tits, yeah. And she's gone. So, uh, Mr. Brown, how did uh, this happen? He goes, living in America. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, fucking yeah. brilliant. So, but Chuck Berry. So, I'll just play it because... Wait, we're going to hear the so video. You're going to play the Chuck Berry it's, porn video. Right, it's only two minutes long, but I'll pause it in between because there's two right, clips, you right? Must have done a, done okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, so I'll explain what's happening. You stood there in front of uh, uh, a lady of the night. You will take that, Duke? No, but... Really do. It's ace. I, Give us a blue by blue. Right. Mm. Well, <laughs> that's what she said. So she's lying there in the net. He stood over and he's bent you know himself. I'm going to give you something to beg for. <laughs> I'm going to give you something to beg for. Yeah. That's what you beg right. for. Just wait till you kiss it. You my girl? Yes. You love me? Yeah. How old is she? I have uh, 20 years. What else do you do? Here he goes, flat now. It's magnificent face, really like almost a barbed yeah. arch. Put your hands down on your thighs. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take Open it. your mouth. Open your mouth. Is he pushing? Is he pushing? In our mouth? No! No! <laughs> no! Yeah. You fill it up. I can, I can hear the splashing. Why? That's his thing. Tell me, is it like... Is he like R. Kelly? What's going on here? Oh, hold oh, on, this is, best like, like, this is the best bit. This is the best what he says to her. Yes, he did. Oh, I got pissing eyes, baby. I'm so sorry. Now he's been looking at her face to face. Like, now the piss off her. Jesus! Well, wait. Do we have to? Oh. But she wants a kiss. Because he's just done this. And she wants a kiss. She wants a kiss. I can't kiss your face. Your face smells like this. <laughs> right. So, that's part one right now. Part two is amazing. Can part we keep part two for a bit later? Oh, no, no, no. Because it's only like 10 seconds. Well, look, part two is amazing. Kyle's right? got to go okay, right? No, but so. Kyle, you need to hear this little bit, right? Because right. it's fucking Let ace. Make it fucking quick. It's ace. You'll love it, right? <laughs> you, you'll probably, <laughs> you've probably done Your this. face smells like piss. You're okay, right? right? now, so he's in another room, right? He's in right. the motel. With now, the same girl? The different. Uh, yes, the same girl. Okay. Right, so now they're lying in the bed. He's got his fucking pea suit. Now. Shh. Just fart in our mouth. I smell that. He just <laughs> Chuck Berry farted in her mouth. And she recoils like she's just been shot in I the don't face. Don't blame her for I fuck's sake. I'd love to be shot, but that sounds like oh, I'm Jesus, Jesus whipped me. Give my bum a little kiss. Boop. <laughs> that was not a boop. It was a. That's the best celebrity porn film I've ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> Ridiculous. Holy shit. I'm leaving. Oh, okay, I might just go, go as well. Uh. I know. So just, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope I'll be back. I hope I'll be back. I'm just. Um, I know what it is. I'm cautious that I won't be. Kyle, well, Kyle you do have an open door policy. You can walk the fuck back in here. Don't hang around do. the door like some creepy bastard like the last time. Oh, I'm gay. I'll walk in. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. Kyle, can I throw you at the front door so we don't fuck oh, up? Oh, please. Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. In the back door out the front. Good night. Kyle, it's been wonderful. Been a pleasure. Hi, everyone. Catch you love later, you, on, Love my you, friend. big lords. Love you, Abby, and everybody else. To Lou, motherfucker. To Lou. Love yous. See if Johnny come back. <laughs> Do come again. Holy shit! So what the fuck? He he has been called away for a, ge- a genuine dead body. He's got like he's going. 
go and bring the dead body back here. He's got like proper like like dead body tags in his pocket. He was showing me like these yeah, tags yeah, he had to fill in. See them, boys? Yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. Holy Why shit. did they have your name on it? Um, because I'm I'm doomed. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm right. old as shit now, Steve. <clears throat> it's getting worse. Like even like the like the whole thing with the glasses thing is for start is the first mm. sign. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Magoo fuck. Mr. Magoo fuck wearing glasses and have <laughs> the wee thing up close, of course. Which I, I forgot my glasses tonight, of course, as well. Dude, it's a pain in the arse. Um But you know what's like it's like the involuntary noises getting out of chairs is a big yeah, one yeah. now as well too. The heartburn. Like every fart now you're thinking, do I need to go and give that a wipe check? Because courtesy, yeah, you know, yeah. courtesy wipes to be just mm-hmm. to be sure, you know. I don't uh, I don't the, intentionally the, have a shit unless I'm gonna have a shower now. Oh, do you really not? Yeah, I'm just like I'm fed at wiping so much. Just fuck it, you know what? Just hold my shit in till I'm away to have a shower. Oh no. And then I can just get in about with the shower head and make sure we're, we're No, good. see I see I'm quite fond of the of the big jobby and then like just digging in deep with the old like <laughs> The fingers. The four the four ply, you know, just like maybe maybe like two, three layers of four ply and just get a finger in a bear and just like dig in get, get that. I'm yeah. probably gay by this point to be honest because I'm right just in a boot and get a right swirl. In the, right in the rim. Yeah. Uh, he, no, he I just I'm at a point now airport. where I'm like fed up <laughs> fed up sitting there and shiting for like twenty minutes and then getting up and wiping and wiping and wiping and wiping and wiping Steve, and wiping and then flushing and then wiping and wiping. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? So now I'm just like, you know what, a couple of wipes, doesn't matter, in the shower, get an air with soap. Okay, okay. Oh, clean the bastard Steve, off. You need you need more fiber in your diet and you need Andrex baby wipes. No. Okay. I'm happy but I'm I'm not spending any more on it. Speaking of uh, <laughs> just get showered after a shit. That's speaking it. of wipes, right? Can we just like mention the fucking poor dog's abuse that you gave poor phrase there in the group chat? Um, I think you. that was um, uh, in my defence. Oh, right. I didn't read all of that. Sorry, it was like a heap of, and I was like, ah. Oh, Although the foils, they're gold, yeah. Steve. They're gold. I, I think in my defence, it was justified. So for those of you who I haven't heard, heard these uh, these like clips, it. if you go to our TikTok account, which is at DHB Radio, go into there, I've posted mm-hmm. a video of the kind of the chat. So what's happened is the phrase, of course, uh, former guest of the show, long-term uh, best friend of the show, uh, best friend of mine, of course, as well, too. Uh, he um, was having a, a Bijou bathette. He was in the bath, you know, he had the, he had the, the you know that tree you get for across the bath so he can <coughs> put shit on, you know, so you can set the bath and watch a tablet, for example, watch a movie oh, while you're chilling in uh, yeah, the bath. Yeah, yeah. He's got the movie on the tablet, you know, some kind of... That's some dangerous shit, man. I know, exactly. <laughs> that shit falls out. That's a lot of money getting knackered away. But he's got the bottle of red wine. He's got a wee glass there for the red wine too, of course, you know, in the bath. Okay. Sophisticated as fuck. Candles right? lit. No, Candles lit the whole shit match. Now, but, uh, but <laughs> unknown, to, unknown to us, though, that the phrase, it turns out, was not only, was not only baked as fuck in the bath, right? Okay. We find this later on because he was baked as fuck in the bath, but also probably a good couple of bottles of wine and deep. He oh, was he right, was okay. gone for it. He's yeah, yeah. fucking gone for it. So he posted a photograph in our. So we have a group chat that we use for show uh, bookings. You know, so we can get shows organised. Who's who's free? Who's available? What we're doing here? What we're doing there? And uh, he posted a photograph of himself in the bath. You know, taking a picture of this tree with his drink and his tablet. And Lurchy just fucking steamed in, right? Lurchy, I don't know if you can get it in your phone, but, you know, if we can play, uh, fucking steamed in Oof. about poor phrase, you know, in the bath, having this uh, beautiful, relaxing, you know, Bichon, Bichon bathette. We can get it on, We can. Ooh. So, but it gets better, though. So but it turns out then that we, the, the, following this, phrase couldn't reply through audio or through text <laughs> because he was so fucking baked, right? Brilliant. He couldn't operate his phone properly. Hilarious. He was just sending photographs and like, yeah, fucking ruined. And that was him. He sent a photograph of him going to his bed. But Brilliant. this is the best bit. This is the bit that my wife has taken inspiration from is that he's clearly got himself absolutely baked. And sh- the wife thought, fuck that noise. There's a picture of his bedroom door. With his clothes lying in a pile, his pajamas, okay. his charging cable, his slippers, all yeah. lying on the floor outside the door because he knows he's consigned to the fucking couch, oh, you know, is. which is wonderful. The poor bastard. Have you got there, have you? Eh? Let's see if we can. Uh, so, are you in fucking Paris? What kind of fucking bath is that? That's like a fucking rare bathroom. Are you in the. Look at him. He's like in the French River area. Oh my god! Fucking yeah. river area. area. With a fucking uh, lush bath bomb. <laughs> Put flavors your, your bath. If you got rose petals up your crack your ears. <laughs> <laughs> I 
more. Fucking <laughs> Coops is laugh, honestly. I know. The fuck? fuck are you watching with <laughs> subtitles on as well? <laughs> Why is that? Why have you got a glass here to suggest that you're not drinking it out the bottle as well? The fuck? The fucking animal. one of their walks the in the Vatican Garden. Oh, it's actually, are you watching? <laughs> I'm watching the colour of pink. <laughs> the fuck? Why have you got Velo- fits in that cupboard? Right, phrase. go get out of the bath and show me if it's in that cupboard under the other corner. Uh, Lord's the chat says a, a good point saying he's a werewolf he can handle it <laughs> <laughs> he's got a right so he had a cupboard in the photo it was like a little velour sort of cupboard with the slats and as soon as I like whenever somebody sends me a photo straight away I'm not looking at what you've sent me I'm the same I was looking around like, about to see if there's anything that we can take the piss out of oh yes yeah, sorry like fits in that cupboard by the way <laughs> <clears throat> phrase is a skid marks in that toilet <laughs> Did you hear poop before you got in the bath and you've not flushed it yet? Oh, the rice in the room. <laughs> the fuck? Do you like water? Oh. How the fuck? What the fuck in a bath are you sitting in? Have you got a fucking... Have you got a croque monsieur or a croque madame? A croque madame. <laughs> at the side of the bath. Jeeves, croque monsieur, please. Phrase is... Oh, he's got a lovely bathroom. He's got a lovely bathroom. You know, top tier bathroom to be fair. I, I bet he just bites. paid for that and had any input. So of course I put that on the I put that whole exchange there on the old TikToks. As a married <laughs> man, he's not getting no fucking looking into the fucking <laughs> So we we did try and get phrase to get be available to come on the show uh, through Skype, but sadly he's working tonight from what I can gather. But Does that uh, mean he's sitting in a bath getting pissed? Probably I probably that was the cleanest wine glass I've ever seen. Fucking now. ridiculous. Just, man. Here's a suggestion. Why would you have a glass there though? You just take a straight to here. Oh, good point, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Dad used to have a pot, uh, can like a, 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 a used pot noodle fucking tub aside the bar. He bro. did not. Rinsing his hair. Oh, for fuck's sake. Like, man. I can tell that, but you see something to your fucking hair, man. I'm going to get any cosmetics in. Get a ways up. Oh, Fuck's sake, God. man. Holy shit. A fucking single, Dad. Huh? <laughs> Lord, you can I just mention the course? This beer you're giving me here from uh, a local uh, producer, Fierce. You can see this bad boy here. Maple, maple pecan beer. Wonderful stuff, by the way. Like it? Ah, it's not bad. Now, you got this beer, I believe, for free, did you not? Uh, no, it cost me well, pies. Well, not for free, sorry. It cost yeah, me it pies. cost you pies, okay. Whenever I put up a good pie, um, the driver for Fierce comes down. Okay. Yeah, case of beer. Does he? Nine times out of ten, I'll max him but I'm not a beer drinker. I'm like, one of these max and fucking Fierce fucking... 40% something. Do you think we can get Fierce to sponsor the show? Oh, I reckon like if I DHB tag, sponsored by if we, if Fierce speak, Beer. If we speak kindly of them just now and I tag them in this for the next couple of days, then possibly. <laughs> we need to do a full on show, but every like 20 seconds it's like DHB sponsored by Fierce, Fierce Beer. beer. <laughs> oh, that's a good voice. Yeah, yeah, just keep going. You know, like the, the typical. Do it again. Do it again. Fierce Beer sponsored. No. DHB sponsored by Fierce Beer. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> do it again. Fierce beer. Fuck you. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Get it right, Runye. That's wonderful stuff, by the way. Holy shit. How is your, um, what's the word? How is your sort of re entering into the work life after the holidays gone? It's uh, been tough going. Mine's been a like shit. You. I got the plague, so I ended up off for a week. So you were just getting back to spec, I believe. You were just getting back to a point where you, you were, were like, I might go back to the I chest. Yeah, yeah, I voice felt better. I was, I actually, I was at the point feeling like I'd actually just got a wee bit of energy about me, and I was like, you know what? I might even manage to... I might wipe my ass properly. Like, well, this is it. I've got that fat I can't reach. Um, <laughs> No. A face cloth, a brown <laughs> in, a white in. Oh, I usually use the, you know, the face towels, just floss. <laughs> oh, nice. That's what, at last he was doing that Chuck Berry video. Oh, Jesus, oh, fuck. You got piss on your face, baby. I ain't it kissing go- you. <laughs> so, yeah, I got to the point where I was feeling like, re- like for the first time in a long time, I hadn't just felt absolutely fucked. Right. I was like, right, you know what? I might just, you know what? I'm going to go home and look and see what kind of gym gear I've got that actually fits. And I might <laughs> just make an attempt to start exercising again. Hope it's Nick Crocs. Um, it's the only thing that fit. Oh, God, <laughs> fuck <laughs> off, man. I don't, own, I don't own Crocs. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, Power just, people. Got a witness. Amen. Came down with some plague. Lost my voice. Was fucking coughing like fuck. I was coughing so much, I was making myself sick. It's just fucking awful. Are you back on the COVID? Uh, no, I've tested. I did a couple of tests for COVID and it's not the COVIDs. Because we so. do have a problem with COVID seemingly with our guests. Like we had uh, like Shabby Abbey obviously was on recently. And uh, she's, I think she's caught COVID for the third time. Poor bastard. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, well, you heard the new I, variant. The what, sorry? The new variant of COVID's called Debt. Debt. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck filming. Oh, yeah. I've got a story to tell you about my gas meter. Right, the fucking price of gas. Oh, for fuck's sake! Right, that's my big 
stand up. Okay, so right, okay. So, <laughs> so we, oh, no, sorry, I only go through my apologies. Lost I, where we were. Carry on. Yeah, so yeah, it just felt like fucking hammered shit, to be honest with you. Um, but no, it's not been COVID. But I think there's a lot of people down with whatever the fuck's going on. Just yeah. There's this, just seems to be this virus going about killing everyone. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking horrendous. Because we were, like, I was bad for, um, I was bad for maybe, oh, I think it was like this Christmas time in the year. I was pretty rough for a bit there, but it yeah. seemed to improve as time went by. Um, but fuck, I hope it was, so, but I couldn't, I couldn't make it what it was. I, I loved my Christmas present for you. If it was that again. I got a cold, sir. Oh, did oh, you? Yes. What? <laughs> How? Have you not cold before? Remember I poured the mad dog in a cup for you? And you tried it. Yeah. I drank the rest of it, the thing. That's right. Big fucking cults. Oh, <laughs> joking. No. So me and Steve have got uh, have you not had, comments. Have you not yeah. had cults before, no? I, I normally get them inside my lip, but I don't think they're called cold sores. Okay. They're inside your lip, but I had a big fucking doozy. Oh, Jesus, oh, man. I, I man. sometimes get them. They're really fucking horrendous. And it's usually when I'm a bit run down. Mm-hmm. You know? See, I've I've had cold sores intermittently over the years since a young age. But there was one time we Check were down. Us, I ain't hurt, is it? Well, it gets worse though because there was one time I was down in Glasgow for a Scotland game with Forbes, go by Forbes, rest in peace, RIP, and um, yeah, old Forbes, eh? bless him. And uh, we were down at a place. What was it called again? I think it was was it called the Palace? It was a club in fucking. Bro, shit, it was called the Ritz. No, it was a shitty little club in I was Glasgow. Like, they kind of Ritz if it's shitty. Surely. It was a shitty place anyway. It wasn't and, uh, in a shopping centre, was it? <laughs> it was. The Savoy. The Savoy. That's the one. <laughs> I've worked there. You know, have you really? Yeah. Holy shit. It was shit. fucking mental. It was some place. <laughs> Holy fuck. fucking mental. I got there and the guy's like, have you got your stab vest? I'm the like, Savoy is no. something else, He's man. Like, you won't be working the door. I'm that like, was right. The Savoy was a place that we went to one time when Forbes pulled up that pulled this big fatty lassie <laughs> and went home with her. But he yes. went home with her on a bus right now. <laughs> we were we were staying in a fucking hotel in the heart of heart of Glasgow. He that went away. So cheap down there. Yeah, he went away on a fucking bus to the, his wifey's home, right? <laughs> The wifey then set about the whole night fingering his butthole with like, at one point I think she had three of them just fucking battering his arsehole. Oof. She had like six bairns with all different dads, right? Amazing. Forbes, all the defend bairns. yourself. No, he can't because he's dead. <laughs> right? so, Nothing to say about it. He, he, the next day we're supposed to be leaving, he was the driver, right? He didn't arrive back at my brother's fucking flat Fuck until me. probably, oh, maybe midday before he got back. And even when he came back, he couldn't walk properly because his arsehole was in <laughs> fucking <laughs> tires. We drove back to Aberdeen. We stopped in Dundee to get um, some food. Ice there's, cream for his arse. Well, we went to the KFC there because there. we're fat. And there's speed bumps as you go under there. <laughs> and because his old his old Renault Laguna thing he had was oh, lowered, I that. Yeah, yeah. a lowered Laguna for fuck's sake. What the fuck? Because it was lowered, the springs, he wasn't like a sensible guy who would use like lowered springs or dedicated lower yeah, springs. Just cut the, fucking just cut the fuckers, yeah. you know? Uh, so yeah. things hard as fuck. Yeah. He's hitting these speed bumps and his arsehole is like, oh. <laughs> he's screaming over these speed bumps. Because right? his arsehole's in fucking tires. Hilarious. But the Savoy, what was I, what point was I getting before? Forbes, so yes, cold source. There was a trip before that as well, though, that we'd gone down to a Scotland game and usually you would end up in Savoy because it was just a fucking, just a meat market, horrible place, you know. Yeah, yeah. And we're all in kilts, we're getting molested. It was brilliant, you yeah. see. And then I I'd, 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 I'd a bottle of beer. And of course, the Savoy's in a place where they sell you bottles of beer, but they're plastic bottles because oh, they yeah. know fine you're going to get fucking No glass chipped. in the place. No None. glass, exactly. So I'm like, I'm off for a piss. Can you watch that from me? Cheers, pal. And away I went. Forgetting the golden rule of saying... Don't fuck with that ball, right? Oh, no. I didn't say it. So it turns out now, leaving behind Forbes, my brother, a huge big fat that he was pumping, and the same as well too, and various other folk, right? Now, I've gone away for piss. Forbes in front of the whole place has pulled his sweaty, his sweaty fucking phallus and thumbed the soft end of it into the mouth of my ball. Yeah. Oh. Standard. Standard, yeah. yeah so oh. I, have, I have come back from said... Pish and uh, oh, it's great. Thanks very much. Got my ball. A few big swigs. Lovely. This is great. Everything's fine. Good night. Drunken. Back to the hotel. Fucking past it. Drunk. Everything's great. Next day, though, bit of a rough mouth. You know, like I'm, I'm a bit kind of itchy, kind of around the whole whole mouth. Oh, Within by the oh. end of the day, I had like fucking five cold sores. <laughs> <laughs> like I had two in the top lip. I had three in the bottom, and I was like, I can't speak properly. Uh. I was like, what the fuck. And then he confessed, oh yeah, I maybe thumbed my fucking belly end into your bottle of beer. And I was like, you horribly riddled 
fuck, you know, just like, oh, just. I wash your end, man. Wash fuck your end, hell. you cheesy whore, you know. Jesus like, oh, man. Christ. But he did get some absolute. The Savoy, holy fuck. Rapings in Savoy. That weekend down in Glasgow working was fucking wild. Why were you me. working in Savoy? What happened? How did uh, that come about? I was, I was working for the Port The fucking. It was, I saw. Because you had to go through a supermarket, like a, like a fucking shopping centre, yeah. to a lift, in a lift to yeah. get up to the fucking the club. Yeah. And it so was. Like a good place. Got fucking, a lift. It was brilliant. It was so bad. It was brilliant. I can't remember if that doorman at the entrance to the lift or if the, you didn't have you didn't have to deal with people until they were already up the lift, which yes. to me was like, fuck that. Nonsense, exactly. Luckily, I didn't have my stab vest with me. <laughs> stab but you weren't allowed to work. You weren't allowed to work on your own. You had to work in pairs. And there was a, there was a guy in the middle of the dance floor, right? So it's eight o'clock at night. This guy must have been, I would have put him mid to late 60s. Really? White suit, blue silk shirt, massive gold medallion, Pilled out, was fucking oh, killing it, giving it big yes, shapes yes. to the dance floor, jaw swinging everywhere. It was just like that's Lordy's future, man. <laughs> that's where you're man. gonna be. <laughs> fucking just honestly, and some of the middens as well. It's just oh my god, the fuck. I just didn't make eye contact with anyone that night. It was it was it was funny, but it was horrible as well too. Yeah. Like we went there because it was such a shit show. I'd go back. I'd go. Back. I would I'd absolutely love go shit back. Out of it now. I think I go back and be like yes. Because even even like even just for like people watching, you know, yeah, it was yeah. like holy fuck, who are these people? Like honestly, the, know, so that's one of my favorite things about airports. It's just the mid and the fucking weirdos. You yeah, see airports. You're like what the fuck? Because the Savoy was like relate. if you can imagine, like I don't know if you ever visited the Metro in Aberdeen. The Metro back in its heyday <laughs> was a fucking just a. A destructive <laughs> fucking zone. It was horrible. It's like it was the one place you went. If you weren't getting in anywhere, you would, you'd you go to the to get in. Like, Even though they had the CCTV radio, where you know, like, <laughs> there was a guy coming, he's fucked. You can't let him in. Metro just be like off the radio. <laughs> in you go, fine, in you go, fuck pal. sick. I'm fine. We're going to get in here. Oh, <laughs> fucking <laughs> mental. And so the Savoy was like this, but it was busy and it was you know, it was a good place, but it was fucking. You know deep. what? The, there's probably people of Glasgow that are like, fuck you, I used to go to the Savoy, you know what I mean? I think a couple already, yeah. I think Witty in the chat group was like, fucking uh, Savoy, yes, he keep play big straight away, wait, where yeah, you yeah. went? Savoy's you know? fucking great. I, I loved working there, loved but it. I was also fucking terrified at the same time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, it got to a point where, like, Geo 67 says the, the Sav is still mental. It's like, we would make a point of going down for Scotland games, you know, Celts on, bagpipes, whole shit match. And we say, right, I'm only going if we can hit Savoy afterwards, <laughs> you know? And that was the whole thing. It was fucking Amazing. mental, you know? Yeah. But I mean, oh, literally that girl who, who ass raped Forbesy, like, I don't, I don't even think her eyes were pointing the same way as well too. She'd like, yeah. like, like I said, six bairns. I think a couple of them, a couple of the bairns had, had the same name as well too, but it was only Gently. their surname's that kept them apart. Oh, that's know? fair, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is fair enough. <laughs> and you know, half her DNA. Who's, half a, DNA. who's A and who's B? <laughs> It was fucking terrible. I'm like, dude, you can't go away in a bus because she lived in like fucking Clyde Bank or somewhere. Oh my God. I'm like, you can't go away in a bus with this woman because how do you get home in the morning? Ah, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. And away he went. And of course he got a taxi home in the morning, but he says even though the taxi home was just like mocking him for getting his ass pumped. Well, kids, okay, it's the moral of the story. Don't get fingered don't by be a horse. Horse. six. Don't be Forbes. <laughs> don't be Forbes. <laughs> You'll have an unfri- un- unfortunate my life. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Is she a good lady in the chat group? Uh, she was, although it is getting kind of late now, so she may have crashed out, but well, she, she was there, there for a while. Can she phone him? Because I've got a question. Ask chat her. You're not phone in. No, I've got a question, like in. pertaining to... Something. She is here. She's replied saying she is here. Give that phone, babes. Can I phone can me? I phone the script number. Sorry, can I fill in this time by asking for another? She says, I'm not phoning. Of course you, babe. No, 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 that's no, okay. no, I just want to ask you a question. I'm not what fucking like. She's not going to phone you. Oh, well, well, okay. Well, I'll ask you a question. She can type. <laughs> right, okay. Have you got an end plan for Scotty's birthday? <laughs> that's a question. I'm being serious. But Scotty's birthday's in March. It's about I, well, a week. See, I was thinking, right? If she right. doesn't. Thank you. If she doesn't. If there's sweet FA planned, what's the plan? Not yet. What are you thinking? If it is your birthday, the 7th. It's in March. So, if it's like a Tuesday or a Wednesday, if it's about the Saturday before. Right. If we can get your free pass. What are you thinking? Why do we not hear the karaoke night out? The like, karaoke night out? Your birthday. Why don't we go down to the Savoy? <laughs> <laughs> We've never got enough Rube staff. Oh, I've got, got a pass. pass. I've got a pass. Oh, oh my. Oh. It's in writing. Right, it's in fucking writing. Here I've got go. a pass. Go. Holy shit. Oh, so that's amen. Saturday. Well, the thing is, though. Let's arrange a date. No, we might need to get a babysitter, though, because I want to. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not fobbing you I'm off. turning wheat. Hear me out, right? I'm not fobbing you off. What I'm saying is, is that we've got like a babysitter in the books. 
right uh, on standby uh, because we're we we are you know how, you know how you, you you take a kid on and you get paid back by taking their kid you know blah, blah. Yeah. we've got one on on standby Ooh. so we've got like rupes and i've got like a voucher thing to spend yet for millet and carter for you know for a wee steak dinner and stuff you know oh, we've well. got we've got a voucher thing for um like an, a, a destruction room you know you go into a room and you direct oh, you shit it smash up a piano a yeah. smash it you smash them so we were going to plan to get this, this sorted out for hopefully the next kind of while but we can maybe hold off until maybe march can and then I'll arrange then so we'll, so, so we'll do like something i've never said before in my life we can do we can we can go away and do like the uh smash thing have our meal and millets and cars and blah blah steak place then we can meet up with you guys and we could go then and fucking do a bit of karaoke i'm gonna be honest with you I think Miller and Carter was ruined for me by our very good lurch here. I th- oh, but there's no- nothing beats that shit. Yeah, nothing like, beats I'm, that I'm shit. I'm as used to the fucking amazing food here. When when we went with Tracy, it was like, well, it was just just a steak. Uh, and Quiz <laughs> is like, yeah, it was all right. <laughs> quite quite genuinely, Archie, I'm not the boss smoking your arse, but see, coming here on a, for a show night is a fucking highlight because it's not that it's expected, but you're like, Oh, I really hope Lord is cooking because it's not oh, fucking who's, good. You're like, got a brisket. Oh, what's up? <laughs> a brisket there. It's I not was, fucking I, good. See, I was going to like try and pull the piss and go, why do we not get like Saturday and Sunday? Because we could do a show on a Sunday. Like, why do we not hear the, the DHB karaoke night out for invite cunts? Oh, I like it. Princess so, Leah 36 says she'll babysit. She'll well, babysit. She. Ah, hey, you You're in the third zone. I'm assuming <laughs> it's a she. You know, it's 2022. My sister, yes. Uh, so she's a she. See? So. Your thinking was the, a two night extravaganza. Well, uh, no, I'd see that is like a pipe dream, right? Okay, but the thought the was like, hours. why do we need the fucking uh, DHB karaoke night out for the weekend before your birthday, right? And then maybe later on that night record a show, or oh. on the Sunday from we're all hanging out our arse. Even better, because I'm Matt Bacon Rose. <gasps> oh, sweet you, Jesus, that could be hear, a winner. You have yet to hear a lurchy bacon roll. A lurchy bacon roll. Can you get gluten-free bread? I will for you. Thank so. you very much. Can we at some I, point? Uh, I, would, I would struggle to get a pass from the boss, I think, on that one. I've taken She's a piss a bit lately. Again, with of it's time March. Off I've had from parenting. It's March. But I'm also, I've got quite a lot of offshore work to do in February. But it's which March. Means I'm going to be away a lot, which means I won't be doing much parenting. But it's March. We'll see. Steve, Steve man, you Steve, carry us down here, Paul. Who do we need to slipper? Wow, 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 okay. There's He's married st- now, you know, for God's sake, Lurgy. There's a steak she's, herbal she's wrap it in tinfoil. <laughs> There's a steak herbal wrap it in tinfoil. No, uh, no I'll, I'll speak to her. I'm, I'm sure she'll be all right with it. But, um, she's invited. I, I also, well, I'm aware that measure. I don't want to be taking the piss no. with my lack of parenting because I know I've been quite fucking lax lately as well. See, I did think about it for your birthday. Nah. Yeah, well, I thought, yeah. Yes. I might as well. Well, that's why she got a bottle. Of I think we have to do like a like a, a DHB clan e- gathering. Everyone's birthdays, we do like a gathering or some kind of night out. Yes, like for Lord's birthday, your birthday, my birthday, Kyle's birthday, I've Coops. Ha- I have a bit of a problem with that. I can't be fucked with people. Well, neither can I. When last I'm were anti-social we as fuck. When I am like we introverted as hell with listeners, though. <laughs> it's been a while since you've seen the listeners. It's well, been true. Well, that's true. Yeah. Although. And saying that, and I don't mean to put in here, but I, I'm pretty sure I saw one today. I saw one today oh, as well. I, well, so, <laughs> so Steve and I had gone to a local kind of play area with our kids, you see. Steve, leave yeah, the wives with at with home. With the kids. I promise. With the kids, I know. <laughs> with the, to, to clarify, with the kids. We'd gone with the kids to a wee kind of play area nearby, and uh, we met up for a wee coffee, a wee, a wee scone, lovely as you do. Kids are away fucking, like, Climbing over, uh, slevered on, and spat on fucking scaffolding. Well, caramel shortbread things was fucking Yes, amazing. exactly, aye. Nice. But, really but well as we're chocolate. now... Now, again, this is towards our listeners. Now, I love you all dearly. You're all amazing. However, what I do want you to do from now on is if you recognise us in a public setting, right? Stop being creepy. St- well, kind of stop being <laughs> creepy, right? Right? Is is rather than... Like, don't come up to me and just say, Hey, Scotty. Right? <laughs> and expect me to know who the fuck you are. Because I don't see many of your faces. I see some of your faces when you're posting the fucking group chat and I snip in your, your profiles. But I don't know who you are. So if I'm like gathering together kids and herding cats to get out of the place, and you're like, all right, Scotty, how you doing, Paul? I'm like, hello. And then I walk past you. I'm not ignoring you. <laughs> I'm, I'm busy right then. I have no idea who the fuck you are. CFE. And then in my head, I'm thinking, maybe I know this person properly but i've forgotten who they are no, you don't. and i'm being rude now by not knowing who they are see i am the master of this right okay just take a pair of headphones with you put them in your head oh and you just sail past them. fuck's sake it yeah, doesn't quite work, work when you've got kids though because ah, well, <laughs> because the, the problem is 
<laughs> He's got a special headphones on because we're looking for his Oh, I've got the super helmet on. So <laughs> we're fucking ear defenders. <laughs> oh, no. But it is, it's like, it's like that what whole thing you where <laughs> you're like, do I stop now? Do you know me out with the show? Do you know me from like my previous like years ago bouncing wise? I've been even there and I've forgotten who you are. In that respect, I'm sorry if I've forgotten oh, who you right. are. There was a guy there that was an ex-Dorman as well. There right? was, yeah, yeah. yeah he so, said hi to me. And who and was? I was like, all right, how's it going? And I was like, I couldn't remember his name. Callum. Was it Callum? I'm sure it's Callum. My, my mind was wanting to go towards like Ewan, but like we discussed, it I was, think like, it was Callum. It was an Edinburgh University but, name. Yes. Like, like somebody who's. But the problem is, this dude who spoke to me with a beard, I'm like, I don't know who you are. And I, if I stop and say, sorry, who are you again? No, I, no. I, I could be, I could come across as rude. No, no, you, you know? None of that. All you need to use is this one word. Right. Chum. Chum. Pal. All right, chum. How's it going, Buddy. chum? See, for me, it's pal normally. Yeah. Or Bud, sorry, Bud. I had to stop. I had to stop using Pal because every cunt was fucking using it after our sexy, sexy pals. pals. Yeah, fucking mm-hmm. drove the bonkers. I come to Connie to their pal. And like, if ever a man has the most kind of ever evolving catchphrases, it's Lurchy. Mm. And ever that every one of them is stuck. You know, yeah. sexy pals. Hello, right. <laughs> hello. Files can we get the phone and give us passes? See, the the plan was like I can't right. like babysitting would be a problem. Mm. Well. I've I'm got a bad dosh aside if he's winning again with babysat boys. We're, we should be covered. We should be covered. So don't worry, boss. But uh, hopefully Tracy Steve wait. can be. I know. Get a babysitter. Aye. We'll see. Is okay. Tracy in the chat room? It's in March. It's prob- but you mm. might uh, no, not be have seen. Bed. There's a good chance, even though my daughter has been fucking knackered today by all the activities she's been doing, there's a good chance she'll be fucking wired oh, awake yeah. yeah. on the iPad. Mm-hmm. She's, she's not too Watching bad Ryan's World. No, not allowed Ryan's World. Not allowed. Ryan's oh, world. Fuck's sake, Lurchy. It's the worst it's thing. Never have kids, man, because they get in this Ryan's world shit. shit. Just gets lots of toys. So it oh. started off <laughs> it started off as a show called on YouTube called Ryan's Ryan's Toy Review, right? And it was an Asian family in America, and the wee kid called Ryan, he would get a new toy, he'd play with it, they'd save the review, but they're basically it's just a film of them fucking playing with thing. This kid at one point had made, I think like ten years ago, they estimated not ten years ago, five years ago. Had estimated he was worth like fifteen million. A kid, a kid, yeah. Just from playing with toys on YouTube. So now the family have now moved away from doing toy reviews. Now they're called the Kaji family. And now he's doing car because he's got two, he's got two like young sisters who are twins, and they all do things together and have stuff. They got and the same, man. They're they're the worst fucking. See, you are fucking up. They've got a mansion. Showing them the wrong stuff. Show the, them the boy with the striped pajamas. Sleepers, the boy with the striped pajamas. Gold. The, right, I don't know what any of them are. I've never it's all about fucking hardships for kids. The oh, boys, right. that is a fucking tear drinker, by the way. The boy in the striped pajamas, <laughs> nah, uh, watership down, that'll fuck her right up. Oh, the boy in the striped pajamas, Steve. Was honestly, you'll, like, you, was it's a good one. Lassie. I would guarantee you'd get three minutes into something like that. In fact, I took we took Felicity down to the, the local pantomime, and within 10 minutes, it was. Can I watch YouTube? Oh, really? Yep, oh, yep. Hell. We've got the same shit. <laughs> can, Danny, I can, I, can I get your phone? Yep. Yeah. I get that in the car as well. Can I get your phone? Yep. Yeah, I'll go off like, Unless you're watching a fucking analytical film review. Oh, I know. I, I, oh. I had a new, uh, watching Terminator, I had a new fucking lease of it. Right. A new viewpoint. She becomes the Terminator. Who does? Sarah Connor. Sarah Connor. How does she become the Terminator? She becomes Fitch of Hate. So the doctor says there, oh, can he's walking in, she's doing her pull ups. She's going, oh, Classic fucking schizophrenic. She's got depression, anxiety. She's okay, like yes, I. When's a Terminator ever had like depression and anxiety? No, but her schizophrenic thing. Something's going to kill her. It's a machine from the future. Funnily enough, the 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 father of her child was also a man from the future. He was a soldier. Yes, patronizing as fuck. But then she becomes the Terminator because she's a white indiscriminately fucking murder Miles. Yes. Yeah, I guess so. She turns into the thing that she's fucking scared of and the thing she hates the most. And the fact that she's sitting there and she's writing no fate on the bench and she goes, uh, and there's no fate, and then she's that dream. The the depression and anxiety, she's not living in a fucking moment. We're all going to die. We've all got a fucking expiration date, but it's not happening until 1997. Fucking enjoy your life, love. Hey, a fucking steak for the Tilly Butcher. Go you, Miller and Carter. Hey, I come to the karaoke night out on the seventh of March, on the weekend before the seventh of March. Enjoy life. Stop giving me my birthday for fuck's sake. I'm still, I'm still confused. What? What? <laughs> no, <laughs> like, she's not like a physical, like robotic Terminator. Yeah, I get that. I'm, I'm yeah. at the point, but what's she got to do? with writing no fate on the bench. She wrote no fate on the bench, and she's stuck with this. We're all going to die. Like when she sees John, she's in the car yeah. after the hospital, uh, breaking into the hospital. Yes. 
and he gets a hug for him. He's like, oh, I'm getting a hug from my mom. And she's like, pats oh, him down. Checking him for wounds. And she's like, I don't need anybody to fucking look after me. Yeah. Because she's fucking constantly thinking about this. Uh, yeah. Dying. The 14th of August. The 7th of August. Mm, 7th of August. 1997. Mm-hmm. That's what she's thinking about. And it's and the whole thing about anxiety. If you're anxious, you're thinking about the future. Yes. And you're fucking stressing about it. If you're mm-hmm. depressed, it's because you're fucking thinking about something in the past. The key to uh, key happiness, apparently, is to live yeah, think. in the moment. And enjoy the moment. Like, this is a fucking moment that we're in. Yes. That's what I look forward to every week. Oh, I look And I get anxious or depressed until you fucking like put me in sequence. <laughs> That's it. Well, was, obviously, it all got fucked up with that new Terminator movie when, when we, John Connor, got shot on his holiday in the beach. Fucking don't get me started on that bitch. I went into pictures to see that. And, um, I thought, Terrible wank. The oh, lassie, thank you, mother. The lassie was... <laughs> the lassie that's uh, also a fucking Terminator, like for the yes. Birth of Salvation. I'm fucking looking at her. Oh, she the big team. Uh, the lassie that's the heroine. The blonde uh, the hair. Blonde yeah, thing, the, yeah. bl- uh, the lassie for the future. Yes. Like, the androgynous tall blonde thing. Uh, yes. With the short hair. Short uh, hair. Hey, what was that all about? She Why wasn't she more feminine? Because uh, the... the yeah, <laughs> she was terminated. Or every ter- James Cameron knows? film is a fucking feminist film. Oh, well, of course Alien, they are, yes. Aliens is all about the fucking feminine. Yes. It says Terminator 2. Um, well, the Avatar. Fuck, I, can't, I started watching the fucking first, you know. I can't get through Shit, it. isn't it? I can't get I cannot it. get over the fucking hype over that film. It was dog shit. See, I loved it only because I saw it in 3D in the in the movie theatre. And it yeah, was amazing I in 3D. I 3D and that novelty worn off after the first fucking 10 minutes. And I was I, like, right. Ken, for, I can't, James Cameron needs to do is get his fucking finger at his arse, stop planning Avatar 6 when 2's only coming out. Yeah. And <laughs> fucking release <laughs> True Lies on 4K. Can I just... I haven't watched that film since video. Was can that I, abyss? Was that not his? That, as well? I want that abyss as well. Apparently, it's mastered oh, and coded. Ab- it's ready it? to release, but he's like, "Oh no, I'm waiting." The abyss mm. is the f- is the tits. Mm. I love the abyss. This is a bit too kind of uh, filmy. Filmy. No. So, can I tell you about how my re uh, integration at work was? Uh, my re no. integration at work <laughs> it was. <laughs> Do it. Fight on. Ah, oh, fucking wise. What sorry. happened? I've tell you about Kim Kardashian, right? Yes. Mm. Oh yes, you have. Yes, this sorry. is a lassie, right? Honestly, our face. It could stop bird shit in midair. Oh my god! <laughs> right? A few of them. Our arse. There's an old butcher that comes in to see me, and he. I pointed her out. And I said, "Boys, the beer's about to go flat." Uh, and he's looking at her, and uh, he goes, "Is that her arse?" I'm like, "Yes." It's like two midgets on wrestling under a quilt, and he goes, "You could sit in that arse and go fishing, huh?" I'm like, <laughs> oh yeah, right. So Tuesday, a bit of first, a shell farce then. It's f- and she's got one tooth. Like, for the 12 years that I've been serving her, I've watched tooth. her dental fucking hygiene fucking slowly deteriorate. Okay. I just got a tooth. This was the last week. was pregnant. Jeez. You didn't think she was pregnant, right? So, <laughs> Tuesday I'm in, and she goes, hiya, Larch. Oh, hello. Hey, oh. Hello. <laughs> it's yourself. Well, you have pinwheels this week. Yeah, I, I get pastry on Friday. I'll make them on Saturday. Okay, I'll let my dad know. Oh, nice. She goes away. Wednesday. Hiya, Larch. What time do you open on Saturday? <laughs> so open at 10. Okay, I'll let my dad know. Friday, I'm still outside here and I smoke, and here she comes, waddling down the street. Like, fuck my life. Shouldn't they write? No. All right, okay. I'm like, fuck my life. <laughs> it's like most of his clientele. Uh, Hiya, Larch. Is that you just getting ready to mac a pinwheels? And they're like, yeah, I'm just waiting <laughs> on the pastry coming in. It's 10 o'clock, you open, is it? Mm-hmm. And she stares at you. She's got a gone for change look. And I'm like, yeah. Okay, I'll let my dad know. I said, well, I come in at half nine on Saturday. She's fucking stood there waiting for me. <laughs> Fuck, hiya, hello. Oh, hiya, Lurch. <laughs> <All right. laughs> if you got pinwheels, I'm like, all right, okay. So it goes in, sets up, puts the lights on, and covers the counters. Customers are fucking boof, straight in. She stood and waited till 10 o'clock before she come in. Joking. Swaddling in. Two pinwheels, please. Okay. I've been left. <laughs> right? Oh, no. <laughs> I cut a cunt. He knows. <laughs> I cut a cunt. I've yeah. put it out and she clocked him because they're brown. She goes, Are they normal pinwheels? And I'm like, I've never done a normal, like, yeah. it's a normal pinwheel. I've never done it. He goes, No, they're smoky barbecue. And she's gone, Oh, I'll just leave it. <laughs> oh, you're fucking. <laughs> oh, in the fucking name. I'm sitting there going, I'll let me dock in. <laughs> <laughs> 
Brilliant. Uh, honestly, I was like the start of the week. Like, fuck it. Why is the fuck up? But the problem is, Lord Jay Thorgorst, is that you've got your way to cater for your for clientele, no matter who they are, big or small. Her is a nightmare. Have you got pinwheels and have you got sausage slice? No, no. It's normally the fucking answer. Okay. Okay, Why don't bread. you have sausage slice? Because I just eat the weekend. Because it's a no, breakfast thing. Only thing. It's I a would, breakfast yeah. thing. Why the fuck People have a breakfast lot? weekdays as well, do you know? Why the fuck? Are these on like what if you're buying it on a Thursday in preparation for the weekend? Exactly, aye. Come back. You don't buy on the day that you fucking have it. Buy for your need now. Come back and see me on Saturday. Buy the Lauren. I'll fucking sell you a pie. It's called marketing, boys. Jesus, the man's made that. Well, the good thing is, though, that luckily Mark Lurch's uh, finger on the marketing schedule here because very, very soon he's going to have some uh, competition, it seems. Can we talk about this tall Archie? Uh, uh, oh, I've got two shit's things. about to go south. I got an email for you. today. For, I got a message on the Facebook page today going, "Are you still selling up pies in the baker in Falkirk?" What? What? I went, I went say what? The baker in Falkirk are they, are they not plagiarizing your pies? Are they? Yes. <gasps> really? And I went, no. I only sell my pies in my shop. Yeah. It interest you? Who might this baker be? And he said, show my post, oh, I'll tell you which pie is available now. I'm like, fucking wise up. You're having a laugh. <laughs> no, Seriously. Uh, uh, so, so there's a butcher in Falkirk who's claiming to sell your, a baker, sorry, who's claiming to sell your pies. Uh, the last day that there's You're a Huntley a larder always laugh. plagiarizes my pies. Okay. And she really? actually come in with her ma yesterday. And she go, Kim, I had a wifey come in. Now, when you say plagiarize, do you mean like, like copy your recipes? Copy or? the fucking pies that I do. every Because my sister brought it up. You're fucking like, kidding I'm at the me. point now for a duck here. Okay. But uh, my sister fucking hates it. She's like, wait up. Let's fucking She's a very it. angry woman, that one as well, oh, too. There was a customer coming yesterday. They fucking laugh on this cunt. I've never had a laugh like this <laughs> in my life, right? She's come in and it was just standard chit chat. She goes, how are you? Today? I goes, oh, I'm fine, chum. How are you? Uh, she goes, uh... <laughs> Uh, she goes, oh yeah, I've got sore foot. I goes, why? She goes, oh, I was doing gardening. I went, in this fucking weather. Right, lovely. <laughs> I fucking should have brought it up earlier. Because she goes, oh, I was outside and I was chopping up logs. I'm getting married. And I went to have my wedding in my garden. But I was wearing Crocs. And I smashed nice. this fucking thing and I smashed my foot. I think, oh, oh, no. I, oh, well, I says, well, life doesn't See, get... See, Crocs are comfortable, but they're not very safe. I know, I go, well, I'm like fucking safety. I don't, I don't know if you that. can buy safety Crocs, but you know. <laughs> no, <it's> something, <laughs> oh, fucking... Ev, Fucking, what's his name? Pink. No. <laughs> he <Fucking>. loves Crocs. <laughs> ah. so, sorry, his sandals he loves are bald. Um, Fitz a boy that was on uh, 200, the Dr. Pink. Jack Bauer. No, just show 200. <laughs> oh, 24. <laughs> um, uh, um, Big Vern. Big Vern. Big Vern loves Big the Vern. Crocs. He's, he'll get He's a mad about a, Croc, he'll yes. He'll get about a steel tea attachment. Oh, yes. Sorry, I didn't <laughs> mind your name here, Big Vern. <laughs> fucking hell. It was Holy good shit. of them to help me. But uh, she goes, oh, yeah, I smashed my foot. I think I broke my foot. I goes, oh, right. well, life doesn't get much better than a bag of Tilly with your pie. She goes, That's no, true. I'm going to go home and eat three of them. <laughs> and she walked out. Oh. Going, She's not even two seconds out the door. And my sister's going. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I honestly her, worked there one day. And your sister was the bit highlight of the fucking day. She's hilarious. Oh. She's like him, but up to fucking 10. You know, it's Amazing. wonderful. Uh, oh, uh, to Disney fuck fucking me. stop. She's yeah. brilliant. She's picking at some boy on Tinder that fucking, um, uh, oh, he, he looks after salmon. I'm going, all right. Oh, nice. He was on the news. He sent me his news clip. He sent me a four minute voice clip. I've never listened to it. I was baked. <laughs> <laughs> But apparently he tickles salmon. Tickles salmon? Yeah, nah, I bet you want him to tickle your salmon. She's going, yeah, fucking ganja nut. Oh, come on now. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> you can't be speaking to your sister about tickling salmon for fuck's sake. <laughs> so, Lord like, my week is progressively... Just so been... tell us more about this. So you've got this bakers down south who are plagiarizing your pies. Yeah, apparently they're selling you not, Have you been in contact? Not can you yet. not license the name the Tilly Butcher so that no. if anyone uses it, they can fucking like, they have to... I You've made such a solid. You, you could be like the new McDonald's. You've made such a solid a brand. Yeah, exactly, yeah, well, a franchise. So, there's a place that's opened in the town, right? Right, okay. And I used to supply them. They were saying I still supplied them six months later. And I, put a I post remember. Up. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it's okay. Then, right, they're fucking pain in the arse. They also do a podcast. So. Do they? Yeah. yeah. Right, everything that everybody else seems to do, they do. So apparently they start a podcast and it's just like, oh, you want to get an NFT? I'm going to get my cell into so much fucking... What's the name of the podcast? Fuck him. It's only had one episode because it's shit. Bro. Is it really that bad? Can we please <laughs> attack them? I, I swear we... to fuck, right? This boy that is present, he was presented to me as Clapton 
or Hendrix of the food scene at Aberdeen. The Hendrix of the food scene. Right, well, oh, he's amazing. He's a oh, man. do we have a new enemy? Do, do no, we? No, can no, we? No, can we ignite enemy. the fucking the, the, the DHB forces? Listen, I, we right. can call upon the fucking listeners here. Send him poops. He's destroying himself, poops. right? Okay, he's right. Presented to me as like Clapton, and uh, for like, oh, is he a guitarist? <laughs> Clapton, is ultimate gone. guitarist. So in the six days, there was things written on walls, graffiti, the mace. Skinner, things. Abby says she can out them. Uh, oh, does she know? Oh, she'll probably if they've used her, she'll probably do a ton of money. Oh, I actually, really? would, I went doing their fucking business because they were doing me money. Uh, pay me, okay, right? Pay me. Ah, oh, well, pay. I didn't care. I was due as much money, mate. Then I use the word mate. Right? Okay. Right? Yeah. If yeah. you wouldn't really fucking put my heckles up, <laughs> <down with me. laughs> sorry, so, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. If you're going to tell me you're going to pay me on Wednesday, right, you'll obviously set up a payment. So at midnight, yeah. here's my money. I don't fuck about with money. No, exactly you not. shouldn't fuck about with money. So midnight, boom, here's your money. Midnight, that's fine. Gets up at six in the morning, checks my bank. Oh, no payment. Ah, maybe it's fucking six or nine o'clock. Okay, Check maybe it's a box transfer and it'll be a next Maybe week. a box transfer, yes. Check it at nine, nine. Checked it at half nine. Fucking wise up straight down to their fucking little office that they've got in this fucking renovated An office. place in um, Marshall Square. Um, so I fucking went in and I goes up to the receptionist last week. I goes, oh, I'm here to see such and such. Okay, have you got an appointment? I says, No, tell him I'm here though. Okay, I'll let him. Brings him up. Uh, I, uh, the telly butcher's here. Who? And because it's such a big place, you could hear the phone echoing. She goes, Far? Uh, telly butcher, and it, tell him I'm here. You're kidding tell me. Him here. Uh, <laughs> Folks, remember you can phone in on zero one three one six one eight zero six four six to get involved. I'll be. I mean, of course, you could phone in and let us know what you know. Of course, but you know what I mean. Very cool. Excuse me, sir. Can you come? Here? Yeah, uh, he's not here. Uh, he's asking who it is. He's tell him it's Lurch, and I want the fucking money. It's Lurch, and he wants his fucking money. I'm here. Tell Austin Russell says they are a pair of objects. Yes. Yeah. Tell them they're here. Tell them they're here. Hey, it's going to get worse than that. Right? They are. No, I'll know. tell you off air because there are a pair of them seemingly. There's right, two of them. A pair of fucking yes, shysters, shysters. So, so okay, uh, 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 he's not here. Um, he says he'll be in at one o'clock. Okay, right. Sorry, to bother you. Okay, uh, right. Message on my phone. Ah, uh, hey, mate, are you actually inside my business? I went, I am inside your offices. Why? So I want my money. Are you taking a piss? Yeah, I am. No way, I'm there. Fucking pay me and get down here. Exactly. Oh, I'm with my kids. So as soon as he said that, I'm like, okay, give you the benefit, do it, I'll leave you alone. Well, if you want them to live. <laughs> went back to my fucking shop. <laughs> well, Steve, <laughs> that took a dark turn. Went back to my shop. Now, this fucker, he, I was said to me, I'm a businessman. I'm all about business. If you're a fucking businessman, you got you pay the not, fucking bills. You do not conduct business like this. You sold that shit fucking two months ago and it's now month three and I'm fucking still chasing you. You've made profit. Fucking pay me. Or I'll fucking show up. Yes, cut you. <laughs> Abby says they've never used her, but they, they she knows who they are, though. Abby Ken's father are. So I don't. <laughs> I the idea. Oh, no. you're still that Ken father. I've, yeah, yeah, I've heard the name. They do they have a little stall in that weird little fucking uh, like obscure bar that's opened up. Yes. In, in so North I was Square. meant to have yeah. an obscure stall in this bar that opened up. Ah, okay, okay. Right. I got the business plan, looked at it and I tore it to fucking shreds, right? <laughs> right. Okay. So, apparently for a little stall that you get, right? Mm -hmm. It was going to be 800 pound a month. Always is subtle. <laughs> mm. right, it was going to be 800 pound a month. Yeah. Right. right. No. And they pay out 800 pound a month with three months rent. No, 800 pound a week. Sorry, eight hundred pound a week because they went eight <sighs> weeks rent up front. I'm like, I'm okay, eight shit. weeks, and it's the size of this fucking table. Nah, it's it's tiny, the size yeah, of where really? we are. Right? I can't believe they've got people in there. Yeah. There's, there's, there's okay. like I think there's three or four different vendors in there, there and I'm meant like, to be six. Fucking mental. And I was getting harassed to be one of them, so I went and got pitched with them one night. Apparently, large can drink. So hardly. Oh, um, You've been well trained. I uh, know. I've got. I've got the. Liver. You've come from good stock. I know. Yes. So um, they're gone. Uh, so I gave them their business plan back. And I went. So eight hundred pound a week. This is, it's tiny. No. Plus, you can't even wash my trays when I get back. How's the hygiene going to work if it's a shared kitchen? So mm -hmm. those businesses behind a shared kitchen, apparently. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't want to get involved. I wish you all the best. Yeah. Oh, mate, mate. And I'm like, no. I says, look, if you look at that. Belmont Street, there's a shop in the corner that used to be a cash for gold shop, right in the corner. Okay. Opposite Primark. 
that building is 3,000 square foot mm-hmm. and it is 400 pound a year cheaper than fit you are. Yeah, so why would I hear this little premium space when I can hear that? Ah, oh. oh, but mate, well, I'm going to go place. I'm like, no. So I said no, said my goodbyes, went a while. Okay. A couple of weeks later, I get a little thick in thing. Uh, Tilly Pie Shed Limited. We're going to open this limited company in your name. What? It'll be 50-50. The whole idea with this place that you're in, in this building just now that it's made, is you've got 5%. You've got to pay them 5 or 10%. Of other revenue as well, and like a fucking three pound pie. Oh, I'll give you five percent of that. Go fuck yourself. Oh, get fucked, <laughs> right, right. Okay. So it was a Tilly Pie should limit that they tried to start up 50 50 share. I got 50 percent of my company, they got 50 percent. I'm like, are you taking the fucking I hit fuck you right off? Are you the actually, Dragon's Den or some shit? I have fuck never, ex- right off. I have never, I'm out, never in my life exercised so much fucking professional restraint and maturity in all my life. There was no business maturity in there. These fuckers kept saying that they had blonde hairs in their burgers that I was getting them. Who, who's got blonde hair in your fucking place? Nobody. Nobody. Nobody's got six foot blonde hairs. Good God, no. I goes, you'll hate to show me. So there's a video. Oh, yeah, just bit into this burger and it's this manky hair and I'm gone. Right, Even your burger. sister who has got short hair or shortish, sorry, nowhere yeah. near long hair as that. Exactly, yeah. You go into their profile, all the lassies that work behind the counter frying the burgers have got blonde hair and they hair nets on. So oh, like, okay. oh, there you go. Before the blonde hairs are coming fade. There you yeah. go, exactly. Trying to tell me that burgers that I gave them that day were suddenly brown. Oxidization right, takes six off. days. And okay, I actually yeah. left here uh-huh. one night and went doing air because I got a message going, oh, we need to speak about the quality of this. And I went doing air that night and stood and waited for this little fuck to come out and speak to me. And he eventually came and go, oh, hey, mate, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm here because you're trying to say I'm selling you shit. For yeah, exactly. Yeah, made day. So I had never Cut fucking problems. Every other business in Aberdeen came to me and moaned because they were fucking them more. They were backstabbing. They were being cunts. And they were almost asking me, like, go you do something because we're scared to do something in case you fuck it because they're on your side. And I'm like, nothing to do with me. I swear to fuck, every fucking food business in Aberdeen come to me about a shower of cunts. Really? And I'm like, nothing to do with me. This is why I started speaking to my cousin Corey again. Okay, yeah, because sorry. I fucked him over, nah. Yes, but, it's time to stop going there. I've been there once, won't be back. Really? Yeah. We were still saying it was my stuff six months later. I'll be sure not to go. And I chose to be diplomatic and okay. they go to work. Oh, wait, hold on. Is this the restaurant you're speaking about or is this the place with the little fucking... The place like next to Malone's. Aye, but, so the, the, the business that's the business. renting in that the, the pub bu- the as business opposed to the pub. The, it's next door, the business is. Right, but okay. they're, they do table service to there. But, yeah, fuck that. Ah, fuck them. See if we were still the DHB and I had not fucking matured and I was being a cunt, they would have fucking died at the sword. No Good mass. God. Can you see no people, quarter. can you respect out there in the written real world how much we've matured in the past, like fucking 11 you know, nearly 12 years uh, of, of doing this show. I don't like, know. I'm in the mood for going taking a shit in a year. If this had happened like fucking 10 years ago, could you imagine the carnage would have happened this and then? Hey, they're lucky. They're lucky. If the fuck women once mayor though. So that aside. Hence right? the fucking Italian fucking gangster look. I now. like it. Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I like it. Picasso. So they've they've um so you got this bullshit with the, with the crowd, the two people who will, will remain unnamed in the city who are claiming to use your produce. I was sitting in. You've also heat. got the problem I was with the. Um, in gone. Far was this gone? Is this fits the other You've one. also got the problem with the bakers, of course, down south who are using your name to say we're selling tilly pies. Um, that you but you've also now, I believe, got a problem with the next door unit. To the Tilly Butcher, so you've got the you've got the prime spot, if you will, on Hayton Road in Aberdeen, sixty one Hayton Road, Aberdeen, uh, Tilly Butcher, Aberdeen. You know, come and come visit and buy some pies. Um, next door, <laughs> though, you have like Where's a that? sorry, what was the address? I missed sixty one Hayton Road, Aberdeen. Uh, sixty one Hayton Road, Aberdeen. Hayton Road, Hayton number sixty one. Sixty one Hayton Road, Aberdeen. Yes, right, okay. And, uh, phone number, Archie. What would the phone number be? Right, oh, I'd number. answer the phone. Yeah. Okay, well, phone. Don't, don't, fall, don't phone, don't phone, but go in, go in yeah, the fall. And uh, first thing one in Old Aberdeen is that your next door neighbour though is like a takeaway place, which I believe is is leased out to a group who run the takeaway. So last show that we did, I told you how the owner from there, yes, uh, gave me my Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve. It was half nice. Uh, I gave him chicken, so I looked after him, gave him That's chicken right, and that yes. kind of stuff, and he says, "Boss, 
this has to stop. I'm like, I bought too much. I get it for a fuck all. Yeah, then I'm sorry. Like, no, That's boss, right. no, boss, has to stop. Says you're giving me too much. Like, they've been good to you. They've been good to us. You know, bang, bang, bang. So the guy that's subleasing the business on the unit, mm. he, um, I, I'll always say it in the morning when he comes in. He goes, how's it going? Very bad. <laughs> business is very bad. I'm like, well, it's January. Abdi's vegan. Abdi's fucking mm-hmm. slimming. Yeah. Somebody's <laughs> probably offended by your food. Yep. So uh, the guy that owns the name of the business, uh, Comes it Wednesday or something last Wednesday last week. I'm going out putting it cardboard. Yeah, I need to speak to you. No, I need but two seconds. Fucking takes it the rest of the cardboard, stands in front of him, towers over him, starts smoking. Um, next door is not doing very well. He says, I've heard. Um, he says, I think once I get him to leave, I wouldn't have run this by you, but. I'm thinking about opening a butcher shop next door. Why? <laughs> I know, right? What the fuck? What next the door. What kind of business the, plan is that? Directly next door to the Tilly Butcher. Probably the most popular butchers in the whole of Aberdeen. In fact, probably Aberdeenshire. You're going to open a fucking butcher's next what door to that. This is what this is what stunned me, right? Fucking. This is a man who's so popular that his pies are being imitated in different companies. And people are claiming to sell his meat when they're not Probably because they know how good he is. The right? fucking mind that weapon, that butcher that was cutting about Aberdeen that thought he was fucking amazing, lean butcher or whatever his name is. I miss him. I, they'll probably end up with him next door. And I know. Like, Leasing the place. I miss him with his fucking. Do you remember? Did you hear about him being a gigolo? No, I did not. He was, a, he was on a male escort website. What? Yeah, I did hear about this. Yes, of course, I. Yeah. Still punting a rogue sausage. Yeah. I, 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 I can have hope though that I say hope. I, I do hope this person. Open said butcher, right? Because mm. they want to make it. Um, now, did you say it was a, as a halal butcher? He says, I won't do anything you do. I won't. <laughs> I'm right? a vegan butcher. Uh, he goes, <laughs> but, he goes but I'm not going to do anything you corn. do. He says, uh, I'm just going to do like diced chicken, diced lamb, because you don't do lamb. And um, I won't do anything you do because I just want to run it past you, but I'm not going to do anything you do. I goes, Yeah, no, I think you should go for it because <laughs> I can you're not going to do anything I do because I'll fucking destroy you. And he went, <laughs> <laughs> but, my, but my hope is though is that he does do this where he goes ahead with it opens his, opens the halal butchers and then hires a manager to run the place which he, he plans to do because he's, he's not a butcher himself yeah he's going to open a butcher's but he'll get a manager to run the place for him and, and yeah. you know do the whole thing that he hires either um apprentice scotty or he hires uh wayne who is Amazing. also terminated you know <laughs> So I would like I've to never, see. I would love to see a lurchy employee yes. coming in next door and running the said butchers in competition. <laughs> and I guarantee what will happen. Right here's what happens. So you've got Lurch Monster Slay Butcher, the most famous brand in the city, of course, yeah. butcher wise. I guarantee next door will open up as Lunch Masters Tilly Butcher. Right? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be Lunch Ma. Oh my God! Austin says NDD is manager. <laughs> That's the one we're looking for. NDD is manager. <laughs> Holy shit, Austin, you have hit the nail on the head there, pal. That is the way things should go. Oh. Could you imagine? Oh, we get a return of the goat's teeth. Oh, my sweet Jesus, yes. <laughs> you better eat that stuff like naked because we don't do dry cleaning bills. <laughs> <laughs> Those sausages do not come with batteries, ladies. I don't knock a back, man. I'm not after having a shit in the fucking cat litter box. There we go. Uh, oh, it's, uh, I fully encourage them to go for it. This is a great That's idea. Right. Right. If this guy does open this business and it flops massively, he's already not making money, right? Uh-huh. And then if you, do you know how much the rent completely is? fucking flops, is he? Does he own it or does he le- just lease it? And he owns the building, and leases it out. No, no. So what if he fucks it that badly? He doesn't. He has sorry, to sell okay. up. The the guy that owns the Nisa uh, owns the building. So oh, sorry. Okay. Rent to him, which is a thousand pounds. Okay. A month. That's good. Eh? <laughs> Shit. Five hundred. <laughs> and the guy that owns the name of the takeaway there leases the name of the takeaway to this guy. So the the guy that I give the chicken to, yeah, yeah. he's paying two grand a month before he even gets a pint Jesus of loaf. Jesus oh, Christ! That. No wonder he's not making a money. Pint of loaf. Why does, a pint not, loaf, eh? pint Why does he not just change the name and fuck the guy off? Then you can't, because he always leases it to people. He's a little fucking hermit, this boy. And um, he opened a 
He come to me and says, oh, I'm opening a, an ice cream shop. Can I just pause there briefly? Because I need to urinate like you would not believe. Oh, well. I'm going to sneak out of here right, and have a quick f- urination. Is this an age thing? It may be, it's maybe an age, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm going to move this oh, table. Watch, watch oh, the, oh, shit. Watch oh, oh, shit. I'm blocking the fucking light. I'm blocking the light. Oh, the fuck. Oh, you fucking... Come on, Steve. Yeah, oh, we're going, so <coughs> we're unplugging the light. Why go on? We're not live on here. Steve, this is a very big microphone cable. This we'll just follow him. <laughs> We'll That's follow a good him idea. and see just, if you actually get stage fright. Hey, right, come on then. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Come on. All right, let's go with him. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> I will piss in your sink if I have it. Right, so the, the rent for this place is um, a thousand pounds, and the guy's business thing is a thousand pounds. But um, <laughs> it can go quite a bit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Scott, you all right, Scott? <laughs> So I'll narrate if it's going on, ladies and gentlemen. Sexy applause. <laughs> uh, Scott's trying to hear P. <laughs> Steve's currently following him. So. Uh, how far will it go? Are you ge- <laughs> you are genuinely fucking in the bath. How is that that long? <laughs> we're only speaking of we're only speaking about the mic. Jesus! <laughs> how, how are you upstairs? You and me, P. For those I'm of you sorry, listening boss. live, I'm Steve has a foot boss. behind me on his knees. <laughs> oh, I can't even. Oh, I'm getting straight along. Ladies and gentlemen, the only length in here is the microphone. <laughs> I can guarantee it's a cold night. <laughs> Good grief. I can't believe you've fallen. <laughs> wash your hands, you midden. I've got to wash my hands. <laughs> Lurch, you're going to have to come and catch this microphone. Well, the, the DHB, the first in everything. Um, uh, <laughs> it's uh, what can I say? There's a there's a first for everything on this show, and uh, that was obviously the first uh, Scotty here in a piss break. So <laughs> I may have I may have pissed my crocs. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, oh, wait, right. oh, there's, right. Bex, there's okay. Bex as well. I can't believe you're fucking. <laughs> it is indeed. How was your urination <sighs> break, sir? Let me there's get, a slight let me, intermission let me get, there. Let me get set back up here. Holy shit! I can't believe that fucking microphone. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Stretched all the way up the hey, stairs. I'm telling you, Lurch's love length. <laughs> like I was genuinely, I was genuinely standing, hosing away, and Steve was like a foot. Did they hear me pushing? I hope Probably. so. Probably. I hope they, they heard, heard you balling. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck sake. The things we do for, for the sake of comedy. For the lols, basically. How has your weeks been? <laughs> A bit pish. Hey. hey. Well. Anyway. Before we carry on, I, I think that um, we should announce to the to listeners, of course, that uh, in the next week... So, because we missed a show last week, we're playing catch up, right? Uh, and we are currently on the on the well. Okay, so you all right then? So, I am. Yes. <laughs> Do you need a minute? So, Brady Bobby's I'm Bobby. I'm still, I'm still <laughs> confused as to why there was a microphone in my jacket while I was pushing. Um, so no, we probably um, need about another three feet of fucking cable there, and we can get it right up at the Bobby. Lurch oh. and I, just, <laughs> Lurch and I talked about this right there. We have we've not had. Like an, a fun awards show in a while, right? All right, yep. It's been a few years. Okay. It's our last DHB awards show. And I think the next week, because we're getting back in sync, because we have to do a show next Sunday to get Lurchy back into sync with his brain. Before right. I start buying yeah, yeah. shit, I shouldn't. Before he starts buying shit, he shouldn't, right? Is that next week, I think we'll do an awards show. Okay. The best of the DHB 2022. Okay. So we have a few categories already. The Lurch has been kind of like best you know, looking guy in the Burns Ward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, word goes to Simon Weston. <laughs> There's going to be so what we want is is if folks if you are watching live, feel free to call in on zero one three one six. Yeah, I know. We need category submissions six four six because so Lurch, what Loose categories do vagina. we have that you have already kind of like thought about? Smelliest dick. <laughs> that would be me. Probably. I'm, I'm not going to have to have that one. Oh dear, a bit. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> Worst eyesight. <laughs> 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 okay. I could be all of us. Worst yeah. memory. Well, there's <laughs> you, yes. Yeah. Um, what did I say? Because I'm trying to find it. 
Oh, um, Big Lore's heard pissing for fuck's sake. Magic. M's heard pissing. Oh, for Beautiful. The fuck's sake. That's the worst. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome. Uh, Geo67 says the best return. Yes, that was one category. So that's one category, yes, um, okay. The best new guest. So, but hold on, can we okay. preface? We can't preface. That yes. It's not from DHB248. It's not from this last year. So not 2022. It's from DHB... When we came back to our regular schedule. No, it's not from no, that. No, okay. It goes from, I think it's 180. 180? Yeah, that's 180. three years ago. No, Why you, that's eight years ago, Steve. All oh, right. <laughs> Why are you going back? Oh, you're so going back far? to the last time you did awards. Last time we did awards. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Last right. Time we did okay. It was the yeah, marathon sense. show, which eventually. One eighty. Remember, it was meant to be one fifty, but we did like one forty nine A, one forty nine B, B, C. So uh, it of was course, eventually. Yes, uh, it, I think it's one eighty. Okay, right. Said. So one eighty. So, so you're saying from the last awards show to now? Yes. So okay, best right. worst guest. Best worst guest, okay, excellent, right? So, someone get a little pad and pen here, right? So, fucking wow. best worst guest. Chat room, write chat this room. down. Chat room, write this down. Somebody make a post right now in the chat group. So, the first first um, award is best worst guest. Best worst, worst. guest. So okay. Wait a minute. How did you define best worst guest? The, the best shit guest we've had. Yeah. So it's Doctor Love all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I think that will be unanimously <laughs> voted by by the fucking so, <laughs> so like boom boom that's that done has uh, been on this money easy I've no best idea best new no it's since 200 uh, okay, best right. new guest so there, best there will new be, guest okay. there will be like one new one since then Kyle's been on um, oh, well, My Monster's been on My Kyle Monster Kyle's gonna win the, My Monster's been on is he yeah he, mine mine has stuck Abby's his been on mine has stuck his vape up my hoop that's right, yes. His mate come round. Uh, and does Abby know what we did to her phone? She does. Yeah. Okay, and she checking. was suitably horrified. Beautiful. Yep. Job um, done. The, the snuffles each. Jiller Miller's his Mac. <laughs> no, he's not been the on. Worst, worst Biggest guest. cunt! He's not, a, a, he's not been on, is he? He's not on. He doesn't he, qualify. He doesn't qualify. He's not been on He since. doesn't qualify. <laughs> <laughs> Best looking guy in the Burns unit. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh. <laughs> Austin <laughs> says biggest cunt category, of course, because Mike. We've got the cunt on. league on the yes. go. Um, also, the, another one was best show. Best show, okay, right. Since 180 till now. Right. And then so. there, was a, there was a classic, I, I did put a little preface for a classic um, bracket. Best a show cool. from 1 to 180. Oh, Baglin will be able to tell you them off to, by heart. Baglin, like, Ramage, yeah. uh, Blurchy. They're quite good. <laughs> those are uh, all the historians. Yeah, they're, they're almost like subject matter experts, aren't they? Kind of, yes. Yeah, so. You'd so, think us being on the show quite regularly, we'd have a bit of insight. I've not got a fucking Scooby. No. I don't know if it's an old thing. or Because people say, oh, do you remember that time back in like 194 one, when you said this? I'm like, I've not got a fucking Scooby I what I said remember yesterday. how I tied my shoelaces this morning. Was it loop, <laughs> loop swoop and pull or was it a double knot? I don't know. It was this I'd fucker, need to go check. It was this fucker thinking that um, the Scotty fat suit that I wore was two years ago when it was four. Was it really? It was I thought it was two years, years ago. ago. Fucking hell, we're stuck in a time warp. Fuck's sake, it I'm sorry. It was four years ago, because I clipped the, uh, the YouTube clip. I'm like, boof, there you go. Four oh, years ago. fuck's sake. So, man. best new show, best worst guest, best new guest, best classic show, best email. So, you've got five there so far. Best email. So, okay. yeah. so how somebody, many more do oh, you want? Go for then, would you? Because I'm fucking paying so much money for his fucking Skype number. <laughs> so we need... <laughs> nifty phones. Why does <laughs> nifty phone? Because no one likes us anymore. That's why. We're, because we're, they're, they're shy. But they're, they are shy. Just don't be shy. Because they phone and lurch you and you tear them apart. That's why yeah. I don't phone anymore. I, I normally just and you won't hear headphones, so you can't hear what they're saying anymore. tracy has got a dirty collar. Someone keeps phoning and just breathing down the phone. No. Yeah. You're yeah. kidding me. No. Keeps phoning. And it, her no, mobile or the house yeah, phone? Mobile. We don't have a house phone. So the okay. phone, and the, you just hear them kind of like breathing a little bit. And then when I speak, the cunts hang up. Really? Hello? And they go away. I'm like, ah, oh, bastard. What, you don't want to speak to me, cunts? That Rude. is delightful. Steve, if they hung up when you phone, are you sure it's not you? <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. It might be you phone. And then for you answer, I go, hello? Hello? That doesn't, no, that's, <laughs> it doesn't work. Did I ever tell you about the Nisa getting dirty phone calls? You did. Yes. Oh, I think, oh, you did, sorry. Yes, yeah. sorry. Fickle is your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a little 60-year-old wifey that dealt me. She goes... Keeps folded up and he goes, What color is your pussy? <laughs> I love it when old people say words that they don't think they should be saying or they think are morally That's corrupt. Wonderful. So they whisper them, I used to be in. Oh, yes, you I say quieter yeah. so Jesus doesn't hear. 
beautiful, isn't it? It was like it's like like up in Thurso, uh, many many months ago, up in Thurso, and uh, the American the Americans created a naval base up there. You know, the, the, Americans the, or the Americans, the Americans, Americans, Americans. Americans. created a naval base, <laughs> a naval <laughs> communications <laughs> base up there. You see, and of course, because there's so many uh, staff from up there. Who um, you know Americans up there who who then had to kind of like live in the th- in Thurzo to yeah. be near the base. <laughs> so they created like a, an area called JFK Drive, John F. John F. Kennedy Drive, and that's where the Americans that's built their the own straight to land. That's where, that's where all the Americans, <laughs> the big depository never worked there. That's where they built their and they were very kind of Americanized houses inside too. I had friends who were up there and visit their, visit their homes. They were very kind of Americanized, styled inside and outside. Made and out <laughs> and they were fucking falling fucking pieces. <laughs> Thin so, walls. But again, but, just fucking but, but because, because, <laughs> we're bad dick. but because of course, you know, back then, back in the day when this happened, you know, this was the first time that we had black people, you know, arriving in Thurso. Right. So you'd have all the older folks saying, oh look, he's, he's one of those base folk, you know, that the, the black people. Was it the Mackay clan the that Westburn. were saying that? The Mackay clan. <laughs> <laughs> so recently, right? So I can't best be worst to, John McGuire post of the week. <laughs> going into too much detail, and I'm sorry for sidetracking. But one of my Do friends it. is a manager at a hotel, and he recently received a bit of a long-winded complaint about the lamps in one of his rooms. Fuck not right? so. But this complaint didn't just complain about the lamps in the room, right? And I'll get to why they were complaining about them. Yes. I think to be fair, I don't think it was much of a complaint, more of a trying to educate them. But the the unnecessary preface to the email was just fucking ridiculous. It was about how... Why have always... I got to light this gas and put no, it no, in? So, so they'd always gone there and they loved it and the view in the room that they normally booked was amazing, but they couldn't get the room. So they were showing another room and it was terrible and they were showing another room and it was decorated horribly. They were showing another room and they didn't want it. They didn't even get shown one of the rooms that they refused and then they finally settled on this other room. But this room has lamps and it's got a little black lady with a monkey on her head and then the lamp, right? So it's like, it's very colonial style decor, right? <laughs> and this is like the whole fucking email. And it's like, it's fucking like two A4 pages, eh? just fucking rambling pish about how they were showing all these other rooms. But the, yeah, their complaint was that there was racist lamps in the room, which is fucking gold. And now obviously we just accuse him of being a Nazi. <laughs> So he recently changed his shower in his house as well. And I was like, oh, it's fine. I'll save you in some gas pills. We did. He came out. So, so Steve and I were playing, Steve and I were playing some Warzone online. And this poor lad jumped in and the abuse he got. Oh, about being an ace. Like, like, oh, poor, the poor guy's uh, granddad died in World War II. Oh, how'd that happen? <laughs> he felt the guard tower in a fucking entrance. <laughs> Like, oh, the poor man. My granddad was responsible for shooting down a German plane once. Was he really? It was in 1972, but... (laughs) 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 Oh, it's offensive. So, can we ask, go back to our awards, of course. We want to have, like, a a fun fun award show next week. I was looking for Dale in your Skype thing, but he's near there. But David didn't come up with him. God, no. No. He's person on gratis. No, he's well, not. He's phone not. Coops he's not. Phone Coops. <laughs> phone Coops. Let's phone Coops. Are you just want to phone like folk on Skype randomly? Fucking right. Because I'm for it. Like, so no, the, the, money. The problem is, folks, is that I've given uh, I've given Lurch access to my my Skype, my DHP radio Skype, which he's then, of course, bought a phone number for, which you see on the screen, of course, so 01316 Oh, she was dingy us. Oh, I thought she said hello. No, she fucking dingy us. She's the not bitch. Oh, I've, always, I've always hated her. Dust selling fuck. Phone oh, again. So Rubes, that wasn't the phone oh, ringing. That was uh, that was Lurch ringing out. The fuck, I bet he's getting pumped. Oh, I should be getting out. Fast phrase. Oh, Dale Taylor will phone him. That's my brother. Don't phone him. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Shit. Right, go. He's got my contacts. Fuck. Go, oh, con- no. go confirm some stories, please, Mister Taylor. <laughs> well, there's probably somebody in there we can phone. That's like fucking phone. Fuck him phone. Oh, Big Lore says that Coops is busy right now on, on her own dust show. Oh, let's keep phone her own dust show. <laughs> her dust doing, show. Is she doing her own fucking... Not a podcast, but <laughs> she, does like a, she does like a live show, I think, on Facebook. Let's keep oh, does she now? I believe so, yes. The fuck? Where she speaks with the dust. Is this authorised by the DHB? No, is it fuck? Oh, is it fucking fuck? Fucking unauthorised fucking broadcast. Sing it again. Doghouse dust. What would you keep fucking... Dog. She's probably got... Oh! Dust. Doghouse dust. <laughs> Tilly, Tilly Butcher's doghouse dust. <laughs> <laughs> is that name that ejaculate that comes out of Scotty now? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> I'll forget the snip. How is your uh, your Buzz. 23 fucking tube cleaning? They have healed completely well, by the way. Have you cleaned it? Have you purged the tubes? I'm not, I'm not at the full number yet, I'll no. send you a couple of videos. Time. You've oh, not had no, time. No, I've not had time. Just do it at work. Get paid for it? No, I can't, I can't do it at work. <laughs> Why? Because that's my work, you know? <laughs> You're getting paid. Just I'm getting paid to do it, but I can't do it my work. Really, it's like a difficult, but you could get there. I reckon if you sat down, right? Right. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to think. So if you were to sit down, with your legs. So what job do you mean? <laughs> Near a fucking fire. I was going to say. Yeah, but the last thing I'll do is sit in the fucking lot. fire engine and give it. Where we going? RTC. Oh, fucking yeah! And smash it. No, no, no. Another I can't do that. Street, yes. Oh. Nino, <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! I'm gonna get sacked. <laughs> I'm gonna get sacked. Oh my god! Wow. Do you know? Do you know that that my, that, that, that job, especially that job over there, uh, closely monitors all of your social media content wow, they, they to make really... sure you're not being disparaging about you know. No, but, uh, you sir, know something. The, the amount of cats you rescue from trees is fucking encouraging. It. It's it's, it's really wonderful. Yes. In fact, uh, I, I mentioned before a previous show that we did get our first cat in the tree recently about maybe a couple months ago, and it was the best day of my fucking life. <laughs> it's the best day of my life. It was <laughs> wonderful. I told Steve, and he nearly, nearly backflipped. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Kind of took away from the Rubes, piss Rubes Chagum says he nearly did cream himself when he got the cat in the tree call. <laughs> fucking <laughs> amazing. Still like, oh yes, <laughs> like my a, life has led to this. What, what's wrong with you? So the other job? Do, does everyone know what your other job is? <laughs> they they know what my other job is. Yes. Well, right, okay. I said before on the show what my other job is. You know, but, but so the problem is right. So let's keep it as vague as possible. You mix chemicals, right? <laughs> right. My, my main job so is changing your own chemicals. At work. I don't mix chemicals in my main job. I make a, a beautiful chemical. You're the fucking Heisenberg. Uh, I'm the Heisenberg. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. So, you know, I make a beautiful you? thing in what, my main job. So, what's wrong with you making your own beautiful thing on your piss could, break? Could you imagine this? Because that on a t-shirt of his Heisenberg. Just be because if, if people thought there was any taint in your hands while you're making this beautiful, beautiful stuff, beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> then there'd be, that, be, be trouble. Gloves. You know, got latex gloves. Yes. But I'm not going to fucking out. crack me with a little glove on. Yeah, but my sister said Finny left. She's a little bit nicer now. Finny left work with me. She goes, see, stay at his fucking hands. Eh? They're fucking mm, right. awful. <laughs> What's wrong with my hands? I'm needing, needing my hands chicken. are beautiful <laughs> things. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> fucking, what was I described them like the other day? Have you seen everything everywhere all at once? <laughs> with the sausage ah, fingers. You know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking fucking MLBs what you to fucking be a catcher. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> a, <it's laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis sitting over there. Uh, My hands are always go, go make decidedly my D cup clean. A fucking A cup, please. <laughs> wait, wait. My point is right. Right, okay. Go you on, give me be, your point. You could be emptying the tubes either before work, after work, on your lunch break. It doesn't really matter. There's time to crank. There's, them out. there's always time. Yes, but there's always, but also the problem is, is finding the inspiration. You see, Steve, did you notice? You asked on your phone. Steve, no, no. Did you notice he asked for your point because he's not got a point on him. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not asking his point. I'm asking my point. Right? Yeah, point in private browsing. Yeah. I'm surprised no. your voice is still so deep. I thought no. we were going to get a there's rendition a, of walking in the, the door. It's a front door, though. That's weird. Oh, Austin yeah. says that uh, Scott's never clearly never went offshore. He'd be rattling oh, on right. out every hour with the rest of the deviants. That's it. You've never dealt with jellyfish in the showers. Like, so how often, I mean, large, oh, that's large, okay. Steve, of course, you've been a, a, an offshore man yourself, of course. Yeah. Now, how often have you been like awoken by somebody thrashing one in your bunk, bunk above you or below you? I've never been woken by it, but I do, like, if I'm sharing Speaking that. I've been woken hey! by getting thrashed. Speed me wagon, here we go, it's Kyle's back. If I'm, Kyle's sharing back. A, if I'm sharing a cab with someone, I'll always say to them, right, I'll give you an hour to yourself if you need to fucking do your business and that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you see that? Is that? Yeah. It's fucking, it's human nature. Is you know that what I mean? part of marital life that you're allowed to do it? Not marital life, it's when you're offshore and there's, you're oh, sharing a room with a dude. Sorry, because I answered sorry, like I'll, a gay there, I got I'll confused. Always, I'll always give folk a bit of time themselves to, if they want to crank one out or whatever, take a shit. But then, so if, you, if you're sharing a bunk offshore with a guy, right. you're going to stop and say, listen, if you want to like crack one out, pal, I'll easily fucking leave the room for like half hour or so. Yeah. Do you, do you I'll stay. I'll <laughs> stay. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? If you want to clank one out, my art is available. By the way, folks, Kel's yeah, back. Kel's back. Yeah, Kel's back. Hey, he's back. But uh, on the same tokens, I expect them to afford me the same fucking courtesy. Of course, yeah. But yeah, then, so, but then, I mean, I think for me, it's more the gumption of saying to somebody, we're all "Listen, a, we're all adults." Uh, no, I know, I and know. we're all out there I for two, three weeks at a time. Adults, but like after like day four, some guys are shaking. 
I think it's I think it's more my kind of like my introvert self is like I can't ask a man like you know if you want to thrash me out I'll easily leave the room for like half hour watch a bit of fucking like uh, hey doggy and TV. You know something we've um, we've had discussions about this at work about how your first week offshore you're just sort of looking at boobs and normal stuff and then you get further and further in all these weird Reddit subs. Uh, by the end of the trip you're just like you're thinking to yourself there's going to be police waiting for me by the time I come back. <laughs> So, no, I'm, I, I'm just standing up because he smells like death there. Eh? Does he? Uh, He's got why a is like death, No, I fucking don't. Ooh, get your monitor thing out. See if there's any ghosts. Oh, yeah, do it. Do it. Get the ghost out, man. I tell you what, if, if the ghost tube says the real name, I'll tell you. The, the big, the big Lord Liam. says, uh, yes. Uh, he's oh. back. I love you know, Big Lord. Hi, babes. Hi, babes. And uh, Austin says, there's always a random odd sock in every offshore guy's old laundry bag. Uh, yep, correct. And a I'm sock. Really sorry, that was horrible. I've never used a sock. Tried it once. It was just Sarah. It, the chiefs. Yeah. The chiefs ahead. I just go out and get a dick from you. It's not for me. I'm, I'm, I'm more of just a fucking. I just go for it. Do you go over the belly or do you like fire in the blood? In the oh, lobby? no. I like to I like to put a hand on the wall and sort of lean at a 45 degrees okay, over yes. the bowl and just straight point the bowl. straight in. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I straight the, the bowl. I'm the same you can't, as you. You can't get it on the side because sometimes it sticks and it's. It does stick and you've got to give it a, a quick dick by clout. Yeah, you don't want to be going in there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Lord, you won't be yourself. Are you like over the belly or are you like in the pan? How do you how do you rock and roll things? Oh, ain't a sock. They fucking have it. <laughs> it does sock. Is that why your feet smell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ain't a sock. Can I recommend Crocs? In a Croc. <laughs> Can you imagine walking in a Croc? Like studying on fucking mayonnaise. Oh, stop it for fuck's sake. Hey, okay. There's a fucking OnlyFans fucking little caveat in the market to be. I like swear to fuck I am going to start my OnlyFans. I keep saying I'm going to do you it, do but keep I am. Saying. I'm going to start on the fans, and it's just going to be me eating Can, flaming hot monster munch. So you're planning to like obviously create an only fans account, yeah, Steve Osaurus. Yeah, why that's going to only be you <laughs> eating monster munch. Yeah, just doing random shit like nothing important. So it'll be neat. So neat tits but, out, neat balls out. You know, neat neat anus. Ball, maybe I think even just maybe sorry, even just yeah, ball, sorry, at yes. my desk. <laughs> maybe just writing a procedure or whatever doesn't really matter. Just typing away. Okay, flaming hot monster munch. Flick, flicking the I'll shoe. maybe do it in a bit of an ASMR type thing, you know, with the mic right in my mouth and be like, oh, okay, okay. I might. I, I, would, I, like. I would hate that. Yeah. And then <laughs> if, if I wanted to really fuck with people, I'd maybe like hint at my foot coming out and then be like, nah, just kidding. Oh, just okay, kidding. Aye, aye. Yeah. I better go change my socks. You know? But the beauty of it is, it would just be completely satirical and I would maybe charge like 50 pence a year. K- so I'd be going for quantity over quality. In Austin subs. Russell says, is Lurch back on the sauce? Uh, uh, just for the day. Just for the day. <laughs> um, go, Kyle, go look at Steve's thumbs. Why? Oh, right. He's like a big tear. Uh. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That's not a noise you make. And weirdly enough, the one that looks like a big toe isn't the one that was completely shattered. I nearly got this thumb amputated. Oh, <laughs> wow. Kyle, can you yeah, imagine if it's 15 years ago? Like, like, you know, know what? He's got a really ugly, ugly toe looking fingers, but you've got a nice watch. I do, you know what? My wife got me that for my wedding day. Did she? Oh, fuck it. And I only one, noticed. <laughs> I only no, noticed. Off again, but I only noticed about a month ago she got the date engraved as well. Did she? Oh, oh. she's so thoughtful. What did you get her? A wedding. I'll, 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 I'll let her marry me. <laughs> I know exactly. I gave her a gift of fucking a manhood. Look at it. Uh, specimen. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but I'm <laughs> not having that. Sorry. Wise up. <laughs> wow. Are you joking? <laughs> Jesus. That was rude and hurtful. Sorry. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> you would mock a man with a speech impediment. Jesus Christ. I'm not going to lie. That's the best no, DHB no. wedding I've ever been to. It's been really. It was, it was amazing. Yeah, I wasn't was, there though. Were you invited to that one? <laughs> he wasn't there. I was there. I was best man. Sorry, we didn't need a tuck shop. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Exactly. Ah, yeah. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. And Tracy was adamant was, there was oh. going to be no fancy dress. Kyle, so. did you hear about the tuck shop at my wedding? I did, yeah. You fucking did, yes. Yeah, so. Made a fucking fortune. Fucking rigged. I made a rare job at that tuck shop. <laughs> Still one of the best weddings I've been to just in for quantity of food alone. Like if we have guests like visiting our home, like even like even like in-law and stuff, you know, we can't say, have a look at our wedding book. Because our wedding book is like just covered in cocks. And, and a penises. fucking proper like twenty pound pick and mix menu from Large Moss I know I, t- I need to change that now. It's yeah, five, <laughs> it's, it's a date. I, it's uh, five for twenty five. I, I was so our friend Hambling his his way. He's got book. a cock in his book. Is yeah, <laughs> as he yeah, uh, and he, his missus went fucking mental about Did it. Did she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Rubes laugh good. like fuck about our book. Like yeah, but you're like that's you in the Rubes. You know what I mean? Yeah, Craig, Craig and his wife are not <laughs> fuck. They're I not like that. 
his Craig Craig is well for a bunch of posh wankers. I think Craig, said. So really? Craig, Craig would be happy with it, but Craig is also very much like, if you upset my wife, you're upsetting me. So he's like, oh. he's, you know, and I think his wife got very upset. Right, okay. Therefore, he got okay. very ah, upset. Shit. Fucking wise up naked my whole night. <laughs> Fuck's sake, let's rev his bike. A fucking disaster, a wedding. <laughs> let's, break, up, let's break the fucking bike as we have bike. <laughs> Ended up punching some guy in person as to the wedding as well. Got blood all over Craig's suit. No, no you, and you did. So, like, this guy was bleeding. <laughs> was falling about at the, the man's wedding. Yeah, at your best friend's wedding. Yeah, so the guy's like, fuck it. There's a guy falling about the place and being a dick to everyone. And I'm trying to say, folks, just fucking ignore him. He's pissed. He's just a prick. Leave him no, alone. you didn't punch him. So I'm over speaking to some people and I see Craig and Tracy having a chat. And this guy butts in and I can see Tracy's wee face going on and I think, oh, she's, she's going to fucking, I know what she's like. She's going to give him what Joe for. Bite. And the guy's pissed and he's, he's just going to be a knob. So like, I better go over there and cool it down. Okay. And I get in between them. By the time I get there, the guy's like basically telling Tracy to fuck off. I was like, don't you dare tell my wife to fuck off. And he literally wow. got in her face and went, fuck off. And, you know, drinks in, wits out. He clogged them. I punched them in the face, yes. At your friend's wedding. You know what? Yes. I did get a lot of respect for you there, actually. I felt that, like, as soon as I did, I was like, oh, what have I fucking done? Oh, my God. But then Craig took the guy up to his room. Um, and, and and when his wife answered the door, apparently, she was like, oh, what's he done now? Like, really? So, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so I, I, you know what? I still, to this day, I'm like, oh, shoot, I never had done that. Because that was like, there was no need for it. It could have just, like, walked her away and be like, forget me as a dick. Right, okay. Um, but I didn't. And I've... Uh, as much as I regret it, it's one of these things, you know, it's, it's happened now. Abby so. says in the chat room that I wish my, I wish my husband, husband would punch someone for me. No, oh, punch you, Abby. I'm sitting thinking, should we call Eliza? Do it. Should we? On the what, Skype phone. Will we get doing? in trouble? Will we clearly get me in trouble? No. Just because I know my number off by heart, I was thinking who I know. For um. Can on the bite, Skypes. Can, can we bite on for another 90 minutes? Because I'm, or, I'm ordering alcohol. Well, Steve needs to get awake in a sharpish, so we can't, be, got, we can't yeah, be too long. I'm back. This is my first day back at work tomorrow. After Why do you want to be on for 90 more I'm getting paid. I'm ordering alcohol. Magic. You're ordering Better alcohol. Better log off in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's just 20 minutes to 25 minutes delivery. So. Who are you ordering alcohol from? Uh, AD's side shop. <laughs> on delivery. <laughs> But Don't you've got you. plenty, you've got like a whole box of beer here. No, but I, went I can MD. just get you right around to the corner. You can't order Sorry? fucking MD <laughs> oh, I get around to the corner and then I'll take you in the van. <laughs> Why don't you nip away with Kyle in the car and go get some fucking MD twenty twenty? Come am, back, you know, we're sorted. Are you really saying you're going to spend a solid 20 minutes in here with Stephen Wong? Steve and I can fucking rock a show, man, I'm we telling can, you. Oh, we can speak the biggest amount of pressure. We are the for... biggest shit speakers in the world, also. Absolutely. Dads are us. I mean, the fans might hate it, though, of course, yeah, but are you are you, are you both going to generally go? I tell you what, why don't we phone the Skype phone and then yeah, I can, you go. we can update you the whole way. That's oh, you fun. could. Or, or we could just wait until I press... Deliver no. now. How I about no? Cause ninety because minutes. Go, no, it's, no, it's, it's twenty twenty five. Twenty to twenty five minutes. I'm just like getting a time frame. <laughs> <laughs> this must be fun because I've thought. Well, when when do you need to be home? When do you want to leave? There's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no set time. Oh, there just, is clearly. Just, we're just not sad about it. No, I, I wasn't getting upset. My point is that this is my first day back at work tomorrow after having been off by being ill. So I can't to be turning up tomorrow and be like, oh, sorry, I was at, I was at pals. Why do you bear Steve, you head off go, the car, Steve? You can just, just call go, on I'm the positive. Skype. I'm positive if you get another couple of days off. Oh, uh, I would probably have to prove it. Yeah, I'll send you a fake test. A wee, a wee bit. <laughs> How do you have you got a fake test? Because he's Gen Z. Bitch. Do you know that? Do you, you know could, if you put orange juice you know on what? those tests, oh, they come up positive? I, you, can you fill out one of those toe tags for me? And I'll be like, I've genuinely died. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll do that. I've got some in the van. I'll be like, look, I woke up. I tell you what, what freezing, we'll do, I look, I was we'll do a photo shoot. I've got a stretcher, <laughs> a body bag. Magic. I bet a toe tag. <gasps> should we? Should we do a photo shoot? Please. Yeah. Please. I'll do a photo of me teabagging him. Wait a minute. Is it? Is that? It's a body in the van. Gaff, no. Is it not? So where did you have to take it? I'm not telling you. Is that like a morgue area? You've yeah, a mortuary. Just at the hospital or? No, so we, it's a mortuary with like the fridges and I'll trays. Be and fridges. Like, no, There's Steve, fridges and trays. have you ever heard the phrase dead silence? It wasn't a 61 Hayton Road, was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, 63. <laughs> have you ever heard the phrase dead silence? Austin says, put the toe tag on Steve's thumb. <laughs> It's a fucking j do it. Have you got any more? That's good. That actually. Have you got? Have, have you got any tags for you? I can't because they're my. They're like my company's. Are they bothered? 
<gasps> no, it's, so it's. But we know. But if you can show us one, we'll try and find someone. We, 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 we can blank out your company's name. No, because it's not. It's like the design of them, like the way oh, they're laid out. Oh, I know. Because right, okay. yeah, a lot of them are no, blank. I don't want to get you in any trouble. Abby Thank Skinner, you. our best friend, Abby Shabby Abby. Says that her kid's got COVID. She can drop you a fucking test. Oh, what? Drop me a test. Just go and, <laughs> just go and <laughs> lick one of my some in. Yeah. Well, no, it's all good. I, don't, I genuinely don't want any more time off. Right, I'm phoning Eliza. See that week Eliza. I was off, I've come back and I haven't got a fucking clue what's going on with my stuff. Why don't you pair nip off in the car and, and keep us updated yes, in Skype? Yes, do that. What you're it could doing. be like fucking, remember Annika Rice used to be out. Oh, yes. Keeping everyone up to date. Like Challenge like, Lodge. Have you ordered it? Have you already ordered it? We'd do it. Tesco. Tesco. I thought we were going around to Tesco's fucking big, far away. Big, big what about the? I thought it was the wee little corner shop that would Aye. treat you to in the limo. The big Tesco. Nick can't open. The big <laughs> Tesco is getting a Burton and a fucking Dorothy Perkins. Huh? Right, listen, okay, are Tesco, we going now, Dan? Tesco. Right. No, listen. It's now. It's now like seven minutes to ten. <laughs> So oh, Tesco, you're gonna have to go to a shop done. really close. Exactly, you're done. Right, okay. unless you've got somebody who can sell then. things past 10 p.m., you're fucked. Are you just wanting a pint of milk? Absolutely no, not. No, fucking no, really. copy. I'm off it. Right, okay, right. So, or well, take a Dr Pepper if you've got. One. Do you not have any oh, more like spirits you can have that you can fire on yourself taller? Yeah, an allergic melon. I'm in the mood for an allergic melon before but I do my But it's nearly 10 p.m. You're fucked, man. I know. I might do my clothes on a Sunday. I'm bursting for a pee. Can I get the mic? Yeah. So Kyle, yeah, that's what I for a pee. Sorry, no, no, come out. I'll, I'll be fine. No, you Kyle, you missed this. I, I, I went for a pee about maybe half an hour ago, oh. and uh, and Steve. How here, was it more importantly? Well, it wasn't bad, but well, it could have been better. Did uh-huh. it burn? However, Steve here took the longer cable, uh, you know, microphone mm-hmm, there, mm-hmm. followed me upstairs, oh. and tried to record me. Your oh, name. that was nice of him. You it was a door one. It was a long fall. Oh wow, well, what can you do? It was my I fault. really a fart, but I'm really nervous because it's loud. Go, do Kyle, it. go. I, well, I, do it. I get the feeling it won't be. No offense. Don't stand up. For the, okay. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was so pretty. <laughs> that was that was the gayest fart I've ever heard that in my life. That was the gayest fart. That was like, that was right in your almost face. Like, I'm so sorry. If you, if you look up faggot in the dictionary, there's a, a that sound there playing. <laughs> <laughs> right. So <laughs> for that man, he knocks at the door, say okay. 85 to him. What? 85? You've got to give the driver a code. Eight, have you? Aye, so Ooh, you'll be here. Oh, oh, don't whoa, whoa, even get me whoa, whoa, fucking whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. There is there a pube like hair hanging out that microphone. Don't lick it. <laughs> it probably just On the side. It. Flew off his it. bum hole. Have you, you ordered a drink online? Two bottles of Mad Dog, a uh, 20 of sterling, and a pint of milk. 60 quid. Quid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How much? Could be cat hair. For two pints, sorry, okay, so it's 60 pounds for two bottles of Mad Dog. So uh, Mad Dog's what, 10 pounds? Why is the 10 pound a bottle? 20 pounds. Right. With fucking fags were fucking a tenner extra. Whoa. 30 pounds. Cack on, man. And a pint of milk was 250. <laughs> so that, that's 30 pounds again. <laughs> fucking Thatcher's Britain. 60 pounds? 60 pounds. You're kidding Fit me. Number. Oh, fuck, why I would you pay that for fucking 85? 85. 85. 85. Right, right. So, if, so if in little Mahatma Coat knocks at the door, take him in, we'll put him in the podcast, it'll be fucking Could cool. You Big fucking Lord says that was not a fart. What was, was that? That was a poof. A poof. Ooh, that was a poof. Way, that wasn't a fart. That was a poof. <laughs> <laughs> Does that work? But I'm oh, it's not working. Oh, shit's no, not working. Not, oh, no, fuck, I like fuck. how Kyle's come back and he's not telling us about the death he just encountered. I know exactly. And he said a costume oh, change. Have we put oh. the fucking monitor on yet? New shit, different day. Are we going to try and make contact the, this recently oh. deceased? Or Aye, where's this ghost tube? Where's oh, it Come through the board. Well, I'll switch it off. <laughs> That's okay. Well, I'll stick it on then. See what it says. Uh, oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Jesus, Fizzy wet. juice. 85. That's a number, is it? Aye. Yeah. Tell us about the, tell about the dead body. Oh, it was just in our nursing home. She was quite peaceful in bed, if I'm being honest. Oh, bless. Fuck oh, off. Shut up, Stephen. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> yeah. oh, bless. Indeed. A nice, a great way to go. Peaceful Is it in bed. Fuck? <coughs> what, how are you, how else, how, how hey, do you want to die? I'm gonna go, I want to go fucking like, a rad like, fisted too hard or something. Like torn fisted in half. Fisted too hard. Yeah, or you know like, you know Look like when Forbes the, too. So big that I fucking pass out and just die. Do you mind? Do you mind? Stop looking at me when you say that, okay, like, I'm, 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 I'm begging. <laughs> was there a guy from West Hill arrested because he'd, he'd buggered his wife with a tilt when she died? That's right, yes, I. Really? Fucking See, that's how about I go. Can but you imagine that? Right now, like, your gravestone. Instead of being like, shit, she's bleeding and We're looking for a spooky tail here, I'll go phone an ambulance. Oh, he fucking just. Saying? All he did was dump the body, I think. Get over, I want to see it. Get over. Kyle, Kyle, make it spooky. 
She was peaceful. No, no spooky for Bunchy. She was peaceful <laughs> in bed. She had nice rings on. <laughs> Can I help you? She, she wore a nice blue 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 blue. Her she did her outfit nice was really nice. Yeah. I don't know I see. Stupid. Oh, she's stupid. stupid. Oh, he's got the fucking ghost app one. What Can I read it? I'm stupid. You're stupid. The fuck are you talking Great. to, ghost? Steve, I've got to sleep here tonight. Oh, oh ghost is over. I'm Love. blind. Love. Love. Oh. Love. Ah, uh, shut up with this fucking villain. Right? Uh, 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 can I it says um, in the papers can like died peacefully or died suddenly? I mean, it died spectacularly. I'm sorry, I can't help it. It better like use cunts. If I die before I use it, better say Lurch died spectacularly. Oh, why in the paper? Oh, we'll fuck! See. Believe me, uh, uh, I will. I will spend Lurch days died in composing the perfect fashion. When you die, oh, we yes. are parading your body through Tilly Drone. I'm going to strap your pole. body to the top of a fucking double double digger bus. I'm not going to go Oh my god. god. I'm Before gonna, I start no, here. I vote we, we. Have you not seen the guy that turned his cat into a drone? I, oh <laughs> my god, oh, yes. No. <laughs> we should do that with Lurch. The guy's cat died. So what he did no. was he, 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 he put the drone body, so the, the cat's body, over a drone, so the legs and arms were out over the wingspans. Oh. And he flew the cat around. Bit of taxidermy. Fucking genius. Amazing. Genius, man. Two of your favorite Fuck. things combined. Exactly. Cats and drones. There's a new way that you can spread your ashes with a drone. Is there? So it's called um, well, ashes. Uh, yeah, it remains yeah, ashes. Like yeah, ashes. Why is that drama? Is drama Scott is fucking spread in fucking Nescafe jars. What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> no, you know what? Whatever works for you, I suppose. She's a crafty lady. <laughs> Nescafe jars. I know. Honestly, or she's a twin sister. My grandma, right? Don't she's worry. You'll be in the Nescafe cup. Did you see that spread it into the wind and get a blue back in your face? Ah, like, it was like some of fucking Big Lebowski. Yeah. <laughs> like my, my dad had half went in a box, and he teen a box. He was like, Ooh. teen a box. And my grandma's twin showed up, and I'm like, this is surreal because oh. it's her. I'm like, it's her. She's spreading her. When you say twin, like like double twin, they had the same ma, identical apparently. twin. So, well, uh, no, no, I know, I know, but some twins are like line. no identical, and some are identical, identical, like oh, the okay, same right. fucking Roy Crop or message bag that every fucking grandma oh, had in the nineties. No, nice. Okay, right. So, uh, like, she fucking opened this Roy Crop or message bag, and like McDaz, like, ooh, here's like half my grandma. Oh and no, like, is it that half, this half, is it? Uh -huh. And then my grandma, my grandma's sister, boof. Nescafe oh. jar, Nescafe jar, no. Nescafe jar. Hey, nice. come on. <laughs> it was like the end of a fucking Grand Prix at the Formula One. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hour, man. Like, oh, so well. it must have been two Halloweens ago. We were out with, it wasn't just Felicity, it was our cousins as well. So like four, four of the girls fucking walking around the housing estate. Right. Some kind setting off fireworks. And we're like, oh, good Dean. Like, oh, nice. The fuck playing that? So anyway, we get, we get Halloween out of the way and we get home. We're like, the fucking, fucking fireworks. Shit all over us, fuck's sake. Yeah, debris. And then like a couple of days later, Tracy finds on Facebook that someone was like, oh, I saw anything about the fireworks, but we're, well, we're spreading ashes. <laughs> <gasps> no. Yeah, yeah common. So came home with dead people on us. They were using fireworks. <laughs> yeah. Spread the ashes. So yeah, we got covered in That is ash. wonderful. Dead fucking people. Hell. Covered in grandma. Yeah, Oda grandma. Oda grandma. <laughs> Holy <bitch>. shit. <laughs> So, going way back to start of the show, Kyle, we have to ask you, before you get pulled away off some unimportant business. Uh -huh. Pulled off. Before you get pulled off. Um, so, you've gone to the dam. Yeah. Right? Now, uh -huh. back to this. And you've oh, gone on to the grinder. Yeah. Was that your first port of call? Yeah. Or do you know, like, do you know, like, there's areas you can go, I, I, I have no idea. He's not even after the plane. areas you can go to? He's buying the fucking Wi-Fi on the plane to go and grind this. How long? Like, stop it. It's like eight pound, he said. He said it was eight pound to buy the grind, the Wi-Fi on the plane. You're kidding me. That's what he told me when he came in. But if only we go there to skip all, it's like a fucking, what would you have been, Heathrow, 40 minutes? Or did you go He's straight from Aberdeen? Edinburgh. Oh, Edinburgh. So it's like, what, we were fucking what, like, 55 hour, minutes, an hour. An hour, an hour and 40, I think. <laughs> really? Okay. 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 Did you get changed in a phone box like Superman? Because you ain't got Crocs on right there. No, you know what? I got did changed in a mortuary. Did you really? <laughs> my clothes are still sitting on the floor. No, they're not. But I thought, I'd just, I'd just come straight here and then... That's my grandma's Crocs. Why are you sitting there like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just thought, I'm going to be the last one in Rama, so I'll just get changed I wish in. I'd kept your white cock now. Fucking hell. What's oh, with? yeah, you should have. Oh, see, no. See, so, if, I'd known you so long ago when the big man passed away, we might have got my old man's shoes back. Oh, <laughs> Dad lent form shoes yesterday, <laughs> and we never seen them again. I'm pretty sure they probably someone was probably going through his cupboard like, "That's a really nice pair of black shoes. We'll bury him in them." Oh fuck! Oh, yeah. yeah. Why is one bigger oh, than the other? Fucking hell! <laughs> Why is one size thirteen and one size 12, eleven? 
Oh, call back to show number one. Show number one. Yeah. Holy yeah, fuck! There you go. Here's a fucking little uh, segue to the award ceremony again. Oh, what well, best odd size shoes? <laughs> do, do we know like? Do we know what ones we're doing? Well, do I have we, a list? We we talked about the ones that um, that Lurch had preset five. Uh-huh. Five. We've asked the listeners to to bring up their own new ones. So um, they have a week now. <clears throat> pardon me. In fact, do you know what? No. Listeners, you've got until, uh, well, let's see, until Wednesday. Aye. So Wednesday to give us your suggestions. And then what we'll do is in our chat group on the DHB Radio Show Stroke Chat Group in the a stroke chat? Facebook's Stroke <laughs> Chat Group. You're in there. <laughs> and um, is that we'll make a poll then on which awards, which three more awards from the, your suggest- suggestions will make it to the final cut. So in total, we'll have like, what? Fucking uh, eight awards, right for the for the final for next week's awards show. Okay, is that a good plan? Yep. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you were. I thought you were so, going to say something. I was going. I was so, for, I was, Okay. We're going to have like we so we have we've we've, we've got five preset. Mm-hmm. We need three more. Do we Best know what they are? Is? No. Oh, that's going to be the the audience suggestion. You see, the three, yeah. Kyle, not the five. The three. Three. We're going to have just suggestions over oh, the next. Oh, kind of like there'll be five overall, days. and then the three are okay. Yeah, yes, sorry. exactly. Aye, so and then we'll create a whole new eight Ooh. categories. So there will be, I, I believe, from what I gather, there will be some kind of trophies. Involved. There's prizes, boys. There's mm. prizes. Mm. prizes You'll be able to win it. <laughs> I swear, there better be, be some in. I swear, to fuck. Is. I swear, to fuck. If they're not here by the fucking next week, I'll be fucking raging. Oh, I'm sorry, Kyle. There is no only gay in the village award in this one. Not yet. But so, no, well, not yet. I'm voting no. on Big Lords and Abbey to come yet. through here. <laughs> That's it. I was actually thinking it should be fun. Um, my very sexy flatmate. Yes. And you were say that. Who's your very sexy flatmate? So know. Lurch has an absolute stiffy for my flatmate, but she's right. like fifty. Who is half his age? Mm, I know. Whoa, whoa. Exactly. Fit is she fucking? How old is she? Is she legal? Yeah. Older than me. But like Is she keen for the pumping? Austin oh, Russell yeah, here, by the way, has said best story never mentioned on the show. Go get Austin Brady, Austin. Brady Bobby's Bobby. We did a whole show, Austin, about Brady Bobby's Bobby. We, never got got it, we even showed the photographs on the fucking show, Austin, <laughs> of Brady Bobby's Bobby. Can I see it? I never that saw big it. fucking. I'll show you that photograph. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Is that they're, threat? They are wonderful. Austin, go phone in and tell me about the story you told me inside the shop the other day. Sorry, we've got we've got a message from uh, <laughs> Apex Pred One Tour Nine Two. It says, "As formed his last flatmate, I'll collect his best comeback award." <laughs> like, oh, well, well, that's well. <laughs> Are we voting on who gets the awards? We all vote. It's a group like discussion. Like a Google Forms. We'll be in, well, no, when, 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 we get the, when we get the awards, when we get the awards finalized, uh-huh. then in our, in our group chat that we have, we'll discuss, we'll discuss who gets what. <laughs> Putting a Forbes between us. <laughs> a Forbes between us. Oh dear. Go get Apex Predator phone and tell us what the fuck he found that day. Apex Predator. Uh, like, oh, up. Apex Predator. Uh, what did, did you find that day? Apex Predator. I can't wear a bag of was, right was he in a wardrobe? Was, no, I know where he was. <laughs> he was behind the door. He was on the floor. Don't laugh. I'm not. It's not I funny. It's funny. <laughs> Did he like lose his balance with Apex his odd shoes? Had to, <laughs> Apex Spider had to boot the door in to get him in. To get in the he's, room. That's f- so fucked up, man. Because he was <coughs> lying deep in the floor. It's, he's lucky it wasn't me or you that found him. Because we would have been like teabagging him. Like, I oh, would have had my balls in his eye sockets. Yeah, like, oh, oh my oh, God. He's yes, not faking it. <laughs> it's, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, it's real. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, so he got to get in. And they're like, there's um, when they eventually post mortem him, they'd be like, there's um, a testicle here in his eye. <laughs> yeah. Apex Spider, feel free to call in on uh, 01316 uh, to be on the part show. No, uh, I missed and, that. What um, was that number again? That was uh, 01316 uh, 180646. Uh-huh. Or Austin, go phone in on... 01316 And tell us how you ruined a former guest's MMA career. No. <laughs> I want to hear about this too. So, MMA. We, no, we can't cover this. 
Until the next award show. Oh, oh, oh fucking okay. hell. Eight years. I can't wait. I'll, I'll be dead. Eight years. Behave yourself. So, um. At least, on Austin at least the flatmate might be old enough for that. <laughs> oh, here. Go phone your flatmate. Should we? Yes. We can't okay, phone your flatmate. Well, we could. How old is she? She's 21. She's all enough, Taylor. She's, She's 21. Enough. Okay, She's well. a fucking child. She's all enough. If there's really glass shy. in the wicket, let's play cricket. <laughs> Wait, let, okay, me go and, let me go and see. Let me see where she is right now. We say actually. that, but then we're all like, she's working. Peeps. What do you mean? Well, that's better. What Get do you mean work see where she is? Get her to work, for God's sake. We've got to make sure they're on phone, If Can you find her phone? Yeah, I can find Eliza. I can find... My friend. You can track your friends yeah, look, and family. My friends. You're kidding me. What's that on? That's, um... Oh, on, like, Snapchat? No, or? just on Apple. That's Eliza. That that's is creepy ability. as fuck. Is it? Oh, that's in the half it. So I don't want people tracking my really? movements. That, that's... Although, seemingly on Snapchat, you can't do that. I can track, track all these your... people. Yeah, look how much people... Yeah, yeah. You can track mm. me as it, I think, one guy or two years or... Kyle, dial oh, up her number. Oh, so, largely, right, if we dial her number... Only you speak. Hello. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we have to do that. Hello. She's working. She won't pick up. But she'll pick up. She'll okay. pick the phone or fucking work if you have to. <laughs> phone the fucking manager. I'm right, a phone her. What's her name again? I'm not telling you. What's her name? What's her name? I can't learn you, you don't even know her name. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Like, oh, it's going, Lurchie, Lurchie. It's going. Wait, give, give, give her the sweet, she sweet part. Please don't pick up. Why did I do that? <laughs> Please don't voice phone. Yes. Oh my god, my phone's cracking. Haha, fuck you. I'm sorry, but the. Oh, no, don't say your number. What? Thank you. Oh, oh my god, I'm a mess, Jim. <laughs> can, can, can. <laughs> Cause you need to help me, Kale. Kale, where does she work? Can we leave her a voicemail? Can we phone her at work? No. How about the mute? When it does the, the bit where it says a number, the voicemail. Then, and then we unmute to no. leave the voicemail. Well, phone Eliza. Why? Why? So she's she's piss what you? can we see Eliza? Well, she just wrote the piss out. Why don't we just phone you talk phone Eliza. Clock. Fuck you. Do it. And this voice. Do it right now. And this voice. Phone Eliza. Oh, she speak. Okay. Bye. Voice. Oh. She will have to switch and like, wait up. Eliza. Are you there? Oh, she, hmm. Ma, she hung up. This is a great segment of the show. Let's is it just, I know people are glued. Right. We've got 25 <laughs> people watching this shit, and they've, um, we're, we're just speaking shit. Like, what's, what's that about? Right, can I uh, start telling you? Austin this? says that next are week, we clear? Next week you'll he'll your... tell the story. Okay, it's fucking eight. Austin, will you phone the show? <laughs> or Austin, how about you come on the show? Oh! How about you come in for a show, sit on the microphone and tell us your stories? I'll what? feed you. What was he'll he feed said? you. He he'll give you no, beef. No, he's offshore next week. Is he offshore next week? Oh. Austin is. Yes. Jesus. Oh, I haven't seen Austin for years. I know, he fucking misses you. He's handsome as fuck, I, I love am. him, I do, he's a good guy. You see his glasses, fucking wise up. He's got glasses now. Aye, but they look like fucking, he's forgot Spiky to take fuck. He, he looks like he's been in fucking uh, chemistry in class and forgot to take For him off. For those of you Brilliant. in the chat room and uh, of course on the uh, podcast, Austin and I used to work together back in the day on the doors. And um, Austin was a Austin was our grenade. So you know, like if Go you want an Austin story, your best Austin well, story. Well, no, I can't. No, because, no, just because so, he's listening, he's there. Right, so... Austin was like, wait, any good door team is worth the salt, right? You have you have like a certain kind of way you work things. So you have your visual deterrents, which were myself and you know who were bigger kind of guys who were. Well, I'm not got in there. Look at him. Exactly. He's got right. Crocs on. They, yeah. <laughs> you'd have your visual deterrents, right? But then you'd have like your your talkers, your who coolers, were, your coolers. coolers yes. Yeah. You'd have the, so you'd have the coolers go out and do the do the sweet, the charming guys, the guys who could speak. We had a guy called Stevie. We had a guy called. Um, uh, Stevie, <laughs> he'd go in, right? He'd go in and Why be like, "Why did you rub your mono bro there?" Fuck off! <laughs> he'd go in and do the sweet talking, and hey guys, cool down, it's all cool, you know. But we, myself and uh, your brother Chuckles, would be like the visual deterrents in the background. Like, here's these two fucking beasts who can steam in and wreck the shit if they have to. But we're not going to because you're speaking to the cool guy, you see, you yeah. know. And then you had your grenades, right? The grenades were the guys Austin and Tic Tac were our two grenades. So these are the guys who were who didn't look like they were weapons, but they would kind of like blend in the background a little bit. You see, and like Velociraptors, Absolute which kind of like would, 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 would flank the fucking targets. Yeah. So if they decided that violence, violence was the answer, the grenades would steam in and fucking destroy shit. Wait, Skype, it's on. Someone's calling. Oh, 
Someone's calling right now. Oh, cheers. That's Eliza. You're spilling white stuff all over the place, Lurch. I was telling stories. Hello? Hello, caller. Oh, damn. Hello. Hey. How are you? Yo, my god, push you to the door. <laughs> From Thursday. She don't understand what you're saying. Sorry, go ahead. Liza, I'm sorry. It's these <laughs> thugs that are being rude and they're being awful. How are you Hi, doing, Liza? Hi. You're on the show, by the way, just so you know. We thought we'd phone somebody who'd be like. But nobody answered, so we phoned you. <laughs> so we phoned you instead. <laughs> oh. Thanks. We've not plugged the light back in, by the way. I don't care. Eliza, <laughs> how are you doing? Hello. I'm alright. Eliza. Are you working or are you just like masturbating? What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's I'm asking the relevant questions. <laughs> I'm not working, but I'm writing my crew trainer application. You're oh, 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 your crew She's trainer like ab application. Is that code word for Masturbate. ripping the heat off it? Yeah. Oh my god, Claire, please. I'm so what? fucking sorry, That's Claire. I'm only asking the me. relevant questions. <laughs> please don't ask my sister. She's just flicking her She's old love. She's asking me. <laughs> no, she's not. It's grass no wicket. It's big cricket. So listen, <laughs> Eliza. Oh, for fuck's sake. How old are you, Eliza, now? Huh? How old are you now? You'd feel real bad if I turned around and said that I was 12. I would feel <laughs> awful, but I know you're not 12, Oh my so god, I love you, Eliza. I'm 12 and you just shouted, are you working? Turn her off right now! Turn her <laughs> no, off right now! No, you can sit and think about what you've done. <laughs> no, no, Eliza, rip him a new one. Call him a lesbian cunt or something, go on, tell him, do it. I'll take over the show. What was that, Toots? Don't call her Toots. Oh, Eliza says she's taking away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, I'm hanging up now. I love you. Hang up! Hang uh, up on it right now! Is Eliza needing was... charged or something? <coughs> like, Probably I, our bodies are fucked, clearly. Uh, can, we phone, can we phone Davy and Dent? That's delightful. Davy and Dent has gone dark. Why are you laughing, Lurch? Rubes says, this is spectacular content. Oh, that's amazing. Austin says, good, it? Austin oh, says that? he'll come on, nay bother. Oh, are you here next week though, Austin? Austin, Ken? you would be more Confirm. than welcome. Are you here or are you available next take week? Take your safety glasses with you. Take your safety glasses with you, yes, fucking cock And your fuck. broken car. And your broken car. I just oh, he's just got broken again. <laughs> I'm just because he bought like a fancy Range Rover and it kept breaking down. I mean, he just like loves buying a big car that he constantly does, yes, rocks. Sorry. He does. Can like, I ask? like your brother. What? I, did we send um, Milwank that... No, I need it. Clone of Can Vagina. you fucking get on it? Oh, well, I need you to take photos of me, Kyle. Oh. Because <laughs> I am, I am a bluffer. That's fine, <laughs> yeah, I hope you get up I bought Steve, I bought a clone of Willie kit for... I was here. Uh, <laughs> Austin says his phone here. car's fixed, but Austin, that's not a question I asked you. We asked you, can you make it for next week's show? If not, how soon can you make it for a show? Because we need you on to discuss about how you destroyed a man's MMA career. <laughs> with a leg kick. I actually <laughs> sat with a leg kick. I actually sat and cleaned my flat yesterday. I was thinking, you want a medal? How can fucking fuck? Gen Z? Just oh, can you flat, fucking fuck. wrap up right up. Can we? Can we just go back a second there? You just said <laughs> ruined Gen a man's really can come MMA, MMA career with a leg kick. Allegedly, yes. How can you have an MMA career if it's ruined by one leg kick? You were never having because an you're MMA a career. fanny. Yeah. That's oh, why. Oh, was even there. What? <laughs> I don't know. Fill hands in my pockets. I don't, I <laughs> don't know who it is. I'm <laughs> only guessing. <laughs> I don't know whose career does is anyone, right. Does anyone in Aberdeen have an MMA career as such? Not, not anymore, because really, Austin no. kicks them. <laughs> I, cannot, I can just do what he just did. What was that? Fit the Austin story you were going to tell. Austin's away to India next week, so he can't, he can't oh, well, come I'm in. I'm fucking Austin, for now! <laughs> <laughs> I, I realise Aberdeen has a couple of MMA training places. Austin, places, like, yes. Austin like, please fucking phone and fill like, Steve in right now. like places now. Really. There's the old, I've not really kept on top of this. There's a spot in gym, I believe, as well, that, 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 that train in MMA, if I can gather. But, so like, 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 but we've had former the, guests of the show who have been MMA fighters. Really? We have. Oh, would that be the Ferengi? Ferengi boy. Yeah. He's been an MMA, MMA fighter. Has he? His career, though, was cut short. By a leg kick from I don't know why. I'm purely guessing. <laughs> but seemingly, if we get Austin on, we'll know why. He's got the face for it, isn't he? I'm He's so got the face for it. One of those faces you just love to you punch. You just want to punch fucking yeah, idea, yeah. you know. Sadly, he looks a bit like me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Who, Austin, you mean? <laughs> no, God. <laughs> okay. uh, I'd punch his face like a heartbeat. I'd first swear to God. He'd probably kill me, but I'd punch I his face. Say, yeah, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it aloud. Do you know, do you know there was dangerous. one time 
allegedly somebody who might have been who might have looked extraordinarily like Austin, right? One time on the doors, hypothetically, we had, hypothetically, allegedly, this directly is the new below Pixar film. Yes, exactly. New Pixar film are based about bouncing. And imagine well, in this film, there was a security kind camera bouncy. facing down right on your doorway. And there's a woman sitting there just <laughs> giving you doll shit for like an hour and a half about how baldy you are, how ginger you are, how fucking short you are, <laughs> how ginger you are, and how baldy you are. Okay, you see. That glasses. And, and like this character who is strikingly similar to Austin would <laughs> took his was women... Woman and launched her like a fucking bazooka over Magic. the road, right? Beautiful. Now, of course, this this woman who's about to a cunt um, then complained to said venue about being launched away because you know spent like an hour punching and abusing this this poor 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 ginger bar- door steward, um, who then was given a, a voucher for a free meal and drinks the week after. Whilst the storm was working, had a straight past him with a smug look in her face. The little fucking dirty track covered armed <laughs> bastard. <laughs> I love these Hypothetically. stories. Hypothetically. I love, Hypothetically. I love this uh, new Pixar film. It's, it's wonderful. Doesn't it doesn't take a strange turn. And um, you had to come in the bar and eat a meal. And the whole time gloating it said Ginger Small, Angry Dorman. Um, whilst... <laughs> Whilst eating her, whilst eating her meal, you know that was that was great time. I'd have thrown her out. You know, I waited till the start of arrived, and then we let you out. <laughs> don't, don't have to give a reason. Fuck you, out. Stick. you're too drunk. Fuck off. <laughs> Just get him a f- phone. The police. Yeah, she won't leave. I've got the stab proof vest on. I might need the day. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I wouldn't be. So, Kyle, eighty five. Tell him eighty five. Oh, eighty five. Tell him. Just oh, the door. The door is going. Yeah. Go on, Steve. You're on. Here it. we go. How you doing, Paul? Uh, 85. 85? <laughs> <laughs> 85, sir. What is it? Come in and be part of it. Come in and be part of the show. Here you go. Feel free. Come, on. Come, on. Come in and get a seat, Paul. There you go. It's 85. 85. No, this it's man here. 49.88. 49. Yeah, I ordered it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, date of birth. 49.88. 49.88. I'm putting that out to the world. 49.88. We're doing a live show search to the world, you see. What is the date? Today? No. The date of your birth. 14988. 14th of September. You have really nice eyes, by the way. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It was lovely. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what came over, but I just had to say it. He had really ugly eyes as well. (laughs) 60 fun boys. Way! Get the fucking out. The fucking delivery man. That guy has <laughs> literally <laughs> just. The door has closed and all he's heard from behind it is. <laughs> he was really like, fucking a bunch of. That cunts. delivery man barely had a word of the Queen's. <laughs> and he's standing oh, the there. Right, the show's about to start. Holy ah, shit. Two balls of MB 2020. Right, I need to go home. Let's go. So. Can I just I don't know what can, can I just that? tell the I'm world? Dirty fuck I bastard! Just, <laughs> that's not my tobacco. <laughs> you paid twenty quid for. I think those are nice fags. Fuck it! Oh, get him back. He's fucking receding here. Go shoot him. Have your eyes back. Go shoot him. Get him back. I'm there. I'll fucking get in trouble. Can I just shout at the world here and tell you what happened exactly there was that <laughs> that Lurchy had organised a delivery late on there of some alcohol, stroke two bottles of MB twenty twenty. Steve is right on the microphone. Um, two bottles of empty 2020 and a, and a packet of fags. Now, the combined cost of said two bottles of empty 2020 and the packet of fags and the pint of milk is probably about, yeah, we'll see, maybe 30 quid. However, this now has cost him 60 quid. It was delivered by a very, a, a very fluent um, Eastern European man who came in looking nervous as fuck through the doorway. Uh, Kyle then told him he had lovely eyes. <laughs> I did. He did have lovely eyes. He fucking come in though, and he said come in. He yeah? came in I exactly. Give right him his shoes. I came in, and um, See, if I'm missing that chicken, I'm nigger in my heart. I hope he's coming in off and sell it to you next tomorrow. <laughs> I hope he's in a company. Missing fucking that chicken. On. Right. <laughs> so listen, we're gonna have to call in the next show anyway because it's getting quite late on. Steve needs to get home. Oh, I was only driving me home first. Try to be funny with MD. Hi. <laughs> so. Before we cut off, guys, we've got a story. Right. From Lurch Monster. So, Larry's more of a fag in my presence, you cunt. Hello. 
That's the worst, honestly. It's disgusting. Oh, it's it's like old school. Give me a wise up. It's fucking disgusting, man. Oh, no, now I feel yeah. guilty. I'm not supposed to be in my Fucking stomach. horrible it's bastard. It's bad that I'm fucking Hey, doesn't he tell his ma? I can't have shit either. Why the fuck did he give me jewels? And I thought, clearly oh, that's for them. You know, I, you know what it reminds me of? Remember when you used to work at clubs before the smoking? Yes, band? exactly. And you'd I. wash your hair. Well, maybe I don't know if you had hair at that point, but you'd wash your <sighs> hair. Yeah, yes, yes, Steve. The shower would just be fucking stinking. Stinking, smoke, man. You know, you know, you'd go home when your clothes are stinking that shit. Yep. Man, fucking hell. And people used to be like, you're reeking a Izzy Miyake. Oh. And I'm like, well, it's better than reeking a smoke. Kyle, you went under uh, the range just to fucking war. I would do uh, Let's fucking time. smoke two at a time. Go on over that door wide open for fuck's sake. I'm going to smoke one at my arsehole this night. Good might time. need two though. It might fall out. <laughs> Some of wedge it. You need a cigar. Mm-hmm. <sighs> right. So, okay. so can I take the mic? <laughs> regale you with my story of take the gas f- man that came here. So, I got a letter through the door saying the gas man needs to hear a look at my boiler. I'm like, ah, tremendous yearly service. Okay. So, they say they're going to come between fucking eight o'clock in the morning and five o'clock in the afternoon, which means get up at half five in the af- at fucking night. Right, you've got to get up fucking early because this cunt will knock at the door while you're fucking soaping up your fucking spuds. Eh? Nice. So, <laughs> there's nothing worse. Yeah. Fucking, I'm up, I'm waiting. I'm like, fuck, I'm, I've beat the clock. I'm up before eight. So, I'm like, fuck, lady. I'm like, oh, shave my beard. So, I've got my mirror doing here. Sorry, Kyle, am I fucking boring you? <laughs> oh, sorry, what did I do? Say? You huffed. I oh, know. No, 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 sorry, not at all. Huffed and shit. Fucked about your phone. Okay, I'll give you a fucking. Sm- I'll give you a fag, you fag. I'll give you a fag, you fag. Fucking, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> so, I'm up. I'm, it's like eight o'clock. I'm like, fuck, I beat the guy. So, I'm like, fucking doing here. Getting the best of light through that fucking window. Shaving my beard. You know, I tidied up and I thought, right, I'm up the floor. So, I'm up the floor. Fucking, I'm, as the youth would say, vibing in my kitchen. I was vibing about a fucking uh, Frank Sinatra on the fucking radio. By God, the fucking backwards to the door. So I like. Sorry, carry on. I like to mop all the way out and then go outside and wait for the floor to dry. <laughs> Riveting. I don't want to get boot prints on my fucking clean floor. Get on it. Sorry, carry on. Sorry, sorry. I don't mean to. I, I'm sorry, my button. It's can I have your Eliza's just messaged me. I'm watching the show now and I can see you're smoking a fang. <gasps> you fag. <laughs> Put that in your pipe and smoke it, you fucking dick. <laughs> Joking, love you. So, I fucking. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> he knows the mine. It's not even me, it's him. Is that right? I'll wait. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Lord. Sorry. I mean, so I fucking morphed. Now you know how fucking poor Pink felt for so many years. <laughs> I know. I've morphed. Right. I'm quitting. Fuck you. <laughs> so I'm up to my the door and I fucking nah, come to right? And getting cut off. Oh, yes. Can't imagine it. I hate worse. it. I hate it so much. I'd probably see me folks speak over you. They're trying to tell a joke or a story. <laughs> or try to read it an email. Or like, see you back in the past when Lord should be just here. And you try to tell a story and be like, oh, oh why's up? Oh, oh, chickens. Oh. Fucking bullshit. Why's up? Here we go. He was the worst for that shit. Yeah. Sorry, Lord, carry on. I apologize. Please carry on. I, I don't mean to cut you off. So I, don't, I don't mean to speak over you. I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to speak over you. I apologize. I just, at times my voice goes a bit you know, overdrive. I can't help myself. I'm sorry. It just, carry on, please, sir. I don't mean to interrupt. So the gas man was chickens. Coming. We were chickens. speaking about Minecraft. That's, that's right. Yes, yeah. I remember the fucking the house yeah. full of chickens. That's right. And then nightmare. the big chicken got that was a on nightmare. Holy hilarious. shit! That was a total oh, oh, nightmare. Oh, so funny. Oh! Sorry, go ahead, carry on. Lols. Carry on, sorry, I apologise. I, I can only apologise for my for my behaviour. It's, t- it's too far. It's too, it really is too far. It's insulting to what it is, Lord Shady. But please take your story, take the vitals, and go with it. Take over the show, go. The floor's yours. You've got a stand on microphone. On go three, ahead. two, one. It's yours. So I got a fucking and you know what gas money, what? right? We're right. waiting. And then I thought, right, I'll fucking get up early. Excuse me. I'll try and beat him because even you're so you're sp- you can't beat him up. <laughs> oh my god! Hurry up! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I know. I should have heard this before. <laughs> <laughs> no rush, yeah. Fuck sake, no, Archie. So I'm off You've the changed. white of the door, right? I'm off the white okay, door, and okay. I'm coming out, and I fucking go <laughs> inside. <laughs> that, that was rude, Steve. I don't even know why we did that as well. That was, that was, that was, that was I need to go for a pee. So do I actually. You want to go cross streams? We'll do together, cross streams. Seen Ghostbusters. I'll take a sink. 
Here you go, Steve. Here's the mic. <laughs> Sorry, Lord, you were saying so. Gasman comes, meter. Holy fuck, what goes twice up? Aye, you're guaranteed you'll turn up just as you're swimming up your spots. Just as you're your spots soaked up as well, too. That's the worst thing to do. I hate it when that happens. I hate when it happens. See, when your balls are all soapy as fuck. And the gas man turns up. The gas man arrives. Don't worry, Steve's away now. You can speak now, you see. It's fine. He's he's got a piss now, see. So do I, but I'm going to piss in a jar here. I'll be fine. I'll be good to go. Oh, Steve, for fuck's sake. Okay. All right. Where are you going with that mic? Where are you going with the microphone, Steve? Oh, for, and I'm sorry, guys. Can you hear that? Can you hear that rustling sound? That is Steve and Lurch away with the microphone so, upstairs. The gas man was coming to see him. <laughs> that is Lurch. So I thought I better get up early because he lobby. comes between eight and six. Okay. Yes. I. I. <laughs> oh, you're yanking hard in that cable, man. Just stop! Don't pull too hard in the cable for fuck's sake. Just roll. Oh, well, the cable's at full extension. I don't remember using the camera, but the cable's at full extension. Um, let's, let's put the camera in the bit so you can see. Look, see, here you go. Cameras full extension to the to the ship box. I'm actually on my knees while Steve's got his dick out. Yeah. Why are you? Are you in the lobby too as well? Sorry, can I come? That's a fair hose. I can hear it. That's it. Can you hear that? Yeah, but the power always comes from the small one, eh? That's true, exactly, aye, aye. You just having a- Why are a you laughing? Because he just fnarted. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. For those of you in the bag of podcast world, we can't see Steve or Lord right now. They're upstairs with a long microphone cable. Pishing. Shagging our simmon. I have no idea, for fuck's sake. It's ridiculous. So Lord's on his knees in the top of the stairwell. Scott. Yes. He thinks he's needing a shite now. <laughs> Fucking please get him having a shite. <laughs> I'm wanting to hear when the, that shit hits the pan. Get the bloomf. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. That was a good pish. That was a good pish. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Steve's penis. Yeah, Steve's penis, Steve's penis. Thank you much, Steve's penis. Oh, that was, that was delightful. That was the highlight of the show, actually, with Steve's penis. That was there. a lot to witness. It, it wasn't really, it really was. Like the, the extension on the cord there. I can see why Lurgy bought a, like a super long cable there to, to, to feed the so, microphone. That's not the first time Steve's been inside the clap. <laughs> right, okay. It definitely will not be the last. So Lurgy gas man, fucking hell. He's he's angry with you. Turns up just as you're soaking up your spuds. Every spuds. Time. Have you been passed? No, I'm sorry, I'll just <laughs> ask financially. Ace. He'll just stand there, he's happy enough for you know, really fucking so. I mean move, eh? Fuck's sake. I've missed that clip so much. I have missed that. I'm sorry. For those of you who are new to the show, that, that, but okay. Carry on, Lord I'm sorry, carry on. Right. It's a night. Please carry on, sorry. No, it's not. a night. <laughs> so it was no. Monday and I thought the gas man's coming to see me, so. <laughs> <laughs> Were you sobering up your spuds? So I thought I better get up early because so he'll knock at the door when you're sobering up Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, he'll be, he'll be chopping away. Well, you're so, your, your balls are, are just, covered yeah. in fucking links. And next thing you know, here we go, fucking jump, jump, jump. Okay. So I'm thinking to myself, right, I'll get up early. I'll make sure I beat this cunt knocking at the door. Nice, so I'm fucking nice. doing here before he comes at eight. Of course. Little fucking so time you knocked frame. in the door and put soap on his balls. Yes. <laughs> Flip, reverse it. Well. Heaven, gas man again here. As much, as the, innu- as much as the innuendos have been flowing here. Okay. It's nothing compared to the fucking innuendos that went on this day. Oh, nice. Oh. So. Fucking mop, I had a shave, fucking mops my way at the door, and I like to mop and go and let the floor dry, right? As I'm going out, I'm fucking mopping, singing a lot of Sinatra, fucking of course. wind and all this stuff. Okay, yeah. Fucking props and mop up against there, shuts the door, turns around, like, whoa! Oh! What the fuck you doing here? Here's the gas pan. I'm like, what are you doing about my garden, you cunt? Uh, you been winding up my chickens, what's going on? He's like, uh, I'm here looking at your gas meter. I'm like, thank fuck you're here, because... That gas meter's fucked eh? My bars have been soapy all morning waiting. I goes, that gas meter's fucked. And he's like, Has your alarm been off? If you phone somebody, if it's going on, like, what do you mean your gas meter's broken? Why are you fucking making jokes about this? If it's going on, I'm like, uh, Aye, uh, if it's wrong with it. I says, uh, It's using like £47 every 20 minutes. Okay, if it's going on, he's like, Oh, was that humour? <laughs> like, oh. oh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to have a fucking rare time with you being in my house, eh? <laughs> But he's one of them. Huh. He's obviously from Glasgow. Huh. Okay, yeah, so yeah. So he comes in, right? He goes, where's your gas boiler? He goes, it's in the boiler. 
<laughs> and he just looked at me like I shit his hands and clapped them together, right? And I'm like, uh, okay. He's like, I'm like, all right, it's up the stairs, eh? Right? Up so stairs. he goes up, right? So he's a nasally fucking Glaswegian. And um, they're all nasally though. They're all the same. Five minutes later. Are you stereotyping? I am, yes. Well, I'm all that stereotype, like, fuck you. Luigi's me sick. Because I heard was, it, it. <laughs> right. The fuck's he shouting eight for? Is he counting the fucking pipes, the voltage, right. the gas fucking pressure? Dildos. Eight. And then I heard, excuse me, eight. And I, oh, must be speaking to me. <laughs> excuse me. Right. Fit. And he goes, I need to see, I need to see if your gas pipe's grounded. I'm like, I better not fucking start with the jokes that it's been a bad boy and eight at supper. Ass. It's kind of <laughs> <laughs> right? So I'm like, right, dinner. So I goes, okay. He says, you need to assist, you need to assist me oh. in taking the stuff out the cupboard because I'm not allowed to take stuff out your cupboard. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm okay. fucking check the fucking bailer for you now. So I'm like, it's a fit. Like he dildos, says, Come up and help clamp me. Ones, nipple clamps. Oh, oh, the face. Oh, the face. Okay. Oh. Okay, face. Okay. Oh, okay. Up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm Steve. I'm Steve. Sorry, okay. So, <laughs> He goes up the stairs. He goes, right, fit you in my day. He says, well, you need to harm me stuff. And I'm like, tell you, fit, you're there. He's got like a bag of fucking tools <laughs> in this fucking big, massive, uh, fucking adjustable wrench. And I'm like, just harm me the shit. So yes. here we go. Hoover. I'm like, oh, here's my Hoover. Box of fucking uh, Andrex quilted fucking stuff. Nice. Okay, nice. Big box of cocks. Big box <laughs> of cocks. <laughs> like, Wonderful. Uh, hi. I can, ex- I can explain. <laughs> right? I goes, I lurchy, can explain. Lurchy, lurchy, I have to ask, right? I have to ask. Is that box of cooks I showed you, mine? Well, yes, I know, but, 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 okay, so the question has to be, right? Going back to Kyle's statement about, you know, at least two out of three of us are heterosexual or <laughs> cis males. One is undetermined. Well, why have you Scott, got a massive box of cooks? Scott, this isn't, what is because this? surely if you're like a, a normal cisgendered, Fucking Can I, okay, I, need, I need to ask, what does the cis part mean? What does that mean? Cis means that you are, oh shit, I forget what's called. It must it, be an African. African. No, no, I mean, it's, it, no, no, it's not, it's not, it's not. It it's means that you are birth? attracted only to the, oh God, it's, it's. You are the normative, if you will. Normative. You are attracted only to the sex so of like, the tears. Scott is like a cis right. male. Yes. Because he looks very masculine. He's but, attracted to only women. Right. He is, so yes. He's, Male, like yourself. Yes. Yeah, he's really like male. Cis, but yeah, yeah, but cis is just—it just means like it's just a that terminology that people cis, use. Because I'm because a male, I'm also a male, but I'm a gay male. But yeah. cis male just means that Scott so, is a male, was born a male, will probably always be a male. But I don't understand. Sorry, I don't mean to. That's right. It's funny. Like, the first obviously, time. you're like right. Okay, I'm a male, but I'm a gay male, right? So. Why wouldn't be a cis male? Because I'm a little bit different. Yeah, but way. why would you say cis male? Why wouldn't you say just male? And then if you want to add little bits and pieces to what kind of male you are, you would just... Like, well, I don't see why the standard male needs to then add... Well, no, they don't. As well. <laughs> they don't. So why do we say cis male? Because, well, no, Scott said it. So why, like why, if, why, well, why do I say gay male? Because I am a gay I, 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 yeah, I, I don't identify as cis. I thought cis is not a terminology was, that I use. I just say that just I'm used it. heterosexual, you know. Just but. in this context, though, I think. Fucking in, in, in boomers. This, in this boomers context, sitting there, right, yes, Kyle? Fucking boomers. Oh, my God. I'm just, I, I can't Cess understand why just a, taking a word and made it longer if we didn't, it was already the same. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Sorry, just don't use it then. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm, I'm not, like, no, no, that's it. That's it. It's not a big deal, it? but it's using. I would it, love to sit and explain. I would love to sit and explain it, but honestly, I'm waiting to see what happens with this box. Of so I thought, like, um, I, <laughs> no, I thought, right, it's I've got poor gas money. I thought I've got a letter from the gas money. I better get up early and sud me. <laughs> <laughs> fucking wise so right. guarantee box of delays. Hey. Second, you blather them sorry, up. Sorry, I apologize. I so right now, it's. Right. I, I swear, to fuck, I was too far. Right? That, too far. That noise. I swear, to fuck. Right, he hands me this box of cocks, and I'm like, <sighs> uh, I can explain. They're Claire Coopers, and he believed. Them. <laughs> <laughs> no, because they're not all melted. I'm gone. These are due for destruction. Uh, but I did again. <laughs> I did not get the R. And I'm like, I didn't can for How are they due for destruction? Because you kind of share my new partner, can you? But um, it's like a thousand pound of love honey shit, right? No, 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 so no, no, no. I don't, I'm like, right, they're due for destruction, but... Just give them a boil wash. I'm like, I didn't can for bin to put them in and ask this car park to put them in. 
Can the, you can you not bung them in with cremation? Uh, <laughs> 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 my fucking bro, that's why I'll bung them. No, because the top beam is melted together. We got another reading. I'm like, oh fuck. How did I'm that like, happen? I'm like, do I put it in? <laughs> As coops. I'm like, do I put it in the battery bin? Do I put it in the plastic bin? The yes. happy bin? The fucking hazardous waste. No, bin. you need to go down the tip with the small devices. Oh, of course, of that. course, yes, sir. So, whilst we're both exchanging hands with this box of cocks, I've got piss again. He goes to me. Do you need pee? I do. That's near right. I age? agree with that. All right. But they don't need destroyed. Oh, I love them. Oh. He goes, no, nah, I don't agree with that. Yeah, I'd sneer. No, no. Nah. Have you ever seen like embarrassed anger? Yes. Yeah. This was for, he was, no, he come in, right? He come to the door and he's one of them. He's just your stereotypical fuck. No offense, Mr. Taylor, but he's got a bald head. <laughs> he's got a bald head and tattoos, okay, right? right. Oh, but he okay. had that fucking, can they, the, the, Charcoal covered fucking hand tattoo or rose. And I'm like, oh, fidget, you see that? And your mate's fucking hooding his cock. And you're like, I went that. So he's going, I'd agree with that. And I'm like, straight away, I'm like, wise up. I'm not into the poofing, eh? In my heat, in my heat, I'm like, I'm not into poofing, eh? for me. But I'm like, start channeling him. Okay. Oh, excellent. I was so excited. <laughs> so am I. Right? And I went, darling. Yes, <laughs> yes. Darling. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. Darling. And he went, like, so he got really excited. fucking oh. puffed up and he's hugging this fucking multi wrench thing. And I'm like, oh, I'm so, here for it. So, but then I had to lean in and he must have thought I was going for the midnight kiss. Because oh. I leaned into did the cupboard. Open, did he open his mouth? Well, I leaned into the cupboard and I grabbed the plug with the hairs on it. Okay. Can the tail. Oh, my yes. I was sitting there and like, oh, I didn't put that in the box probably. And I teen out and he went, no, oh. it's near right. No, oh, no. So that's put, wonderful. So I put it to my shoulder, right? I'm like, right, do you need anything else? Do you need to cover it? And he's like, uh, no, that's fine. Uh, right? Uh -huh. So then I proceeded to mince doing the stairs. I reckon out of mince. Of course. So I mince Get a fucking butcher. <laughs> 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 and I gave one at the heart. <laughs> So, what the fuck, man? I tried mincing doing the stairs. And I goes, <laughs> butcher. I goes, you heard it here first. Tell the butcher I didn't get out of mints. Oh, it's gold. Would you like a fuck hot drink you. love cup? Oh, you didn't, did you? Oh, oh, fucking gross. Right? And he's like, oh, oh. And I heard him like fucking mouth and I fuck now. I got to this flight of stairs. I got down two. And then I rumbled on the fucking arse. Nice. <laughs> nice. Because I've been mopping the flare twice. <laughs> Because this cunt didn't come in the front door like a normal fucking gas engineer. You come in the back door. Of course. And I'm lying there and I'm like, mm. I came for your, like, fuck it. I went, one, two, woof. And I'm lying there ah. going, I've just obliterated my coccyx, eh? What the fuck? No. I've just obliterated my fucking arse. And then um, I'm lying there and I could hear him like, I, you need to come right now quick. And I'm like, I don't even care what's going on. He didn't even hear the common courtesy to stick his head on the banister to see me lying in a fucking heap going, because uh, if he looked over, the tail was gone. He must have thought it was up my arse, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm fucking lying there going, and the first thing that caught my head was, why does this keep happening? <laughs> why is it every time since you stopped drinking, you keep falling over? And I'm fucking lying there going, Oh no! Right, and the fuck, like I come out of Marquis the other day, and I'm like, is that a flare? Oh, oh no! <laughs> fuck oh it, no! Like, Why the fuck I keep falling over? Uh, uh. So I'm lying there, and I'm going, oh what the fuck? And I could hear him like, uh, 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 and I went to him safe, and he come in because you can I live an accent? As soon as oh, he started yes, speaking, I was like, absolutely. <sighs> <laughs> oh yes! Oh an accent! Oh nice! I'm going, in me he. Go say, I bumped the finger. Kyle, cooking. I am totally behind you when you say there's only two straight white uh -huh. on that. But, you know. As soon as I hear his accent, I'm like, go say this. And then my head, I'm going, go say, I bumped the finger cooking cookies on your cooker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I'm lying there in a sake. fucking crumpled heap at the bottom of the fucking okay. stairs. He's gone, oh, no. My doctor's going to think I've got something wrong with me. Oh, okay. Because okay. every fuck, like the past two interactions I've had with my doctor uh -huh. has been a 40 on my arse. Same, babe. Hi. <laughs> my my thrombose pile. Yes, your thrombose pile. Yes, I famously. Steve, I had a thrombose pile. Have you ever had one of them? No, I, I, Brutal. Know, I know what a pile is. I just, I'm not sure what a thrombose is. A thrombose one thrombose. is one that wants to take over the world. <laughs> it's just a big thing. It's got its own fucking life in its own ecosystem. 
This fucker was called Al because every time I tried to sleep, he just wanted to go over the world. Yeah, there was no comfy way to fucking. I'm like lying in my bed, going, oh, and Al's like, right, let's get up. Come on. Let's oh. bootleg some whiskey. Oh, for fuck's sake. And I had to get into the shower at like fucking two in the morning on a Saturday, and I'm like, what's wrong with my life? And you get my coat eyes oh, off. No, Jesus well, Christ. I had to send a 40 to the doctor because the doctor doesn't want you coming up here. It's like, oh, he e consult. He doesn't need to see it. No, he's like, like, he's like, e consult. It's like, you can see it, but he doesn't need to smell it. It's like, describe your condition. And I'm it's like, fair. yeah, wrecked him. <laughs> like, <laughs> piles, click. And it was like, other, click. And it's oh, like, no. attach a photo. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Tina Forty at all. How did you do it? Did you just squat down and go to the front facing camera from the front, like under, or, or did over you go, a mirror behind? Were you or? bent forward with it behind you? It was like that. Oh, um, good lord, no! Thank right? you very much, Rico. Okay. Okay. Imagine, imagine your thumb poking in, in between the chicks of your arse. Which one, the toe or the normal? <laughs> <thumb>? <laughs> so Folks, was, on that note, I think we have to call it a night because we're like fucking we're like two hours and forty seven here. It's been wonderful, but it's time to call it quits, god damn it. Oh, well, I can't finish my story, boys, I'm sorry. I thought it was finished. Right, was running, oh, the no, fucking no. GP. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, <laughs> sorry, right, I'm you. lying there and I'm okay, like, I'm going to hit five some, minutes. I'm like, I'm going to hit send a 40 of my, light a candle and I'm done. <laughs> like right? a candle. I'm okay. lying there going like, I'm going to hit send a 40 of my arse to the fucking doctor again. <laughs> if it's going on, right? I can see his brain look. Look at him. He's, he's seeing that green bun. So I gets up, like right? I eventually to manages screen. to get up and he's up the <laughs> stairs going, fucking hurry up. <laughs> right? Was he on the phone in an ambulance or no, like a colleague? He was on the phone to his mates and he felt insecure and he had to come here because no, a letter there that said like problems. Uh, yeah. There was flammable stuff in the cupboard. Plus the fucking customer made me feel really fucking uh, unsafe. He didn't. News, oh, right? wonderful. So okay. I gets up and I'm like, fucking wise up. Now, see the fucking myth that you kind of sneeze with your eyes open. Allegedly. Right, so I've got another one. You cannot okay. sneeze without fucking ch- clenching, clenching your the chicks of your ears. Because I fucking come through here and I'm like, oh, oh. And I'm like, I'm fucking, like, I thought I was bleeding, so I'm fucking doing the tweeds, right? Okay. Oh. Right? Oh. And because I've been While shaving, the gas man's upstairs. Shut up. Because I've got the mirror there, right? I'm like. <laughs> you know the mirror of the gas man's upstairs. Right, so I'm here, right? Okay, and right. I'm like, okay. Oh. Oh, why is up? And it's like, I swear, fuck, it's like road rash. It's like this big purple thing doing a chicken in my ass. Oh, come on. And I'm stood there and I went, I can explain. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, the gas man arrived. Oh, no. And he comes down and he goes, <laughs> Far is the gas meter. I went, uh, I can, ex- Far is the gas meter. <laughs> like, it's not covered here. Okay, right. <laughs> I have a question. Would you rather. Come every time you shit, or shit every time you come. <laughs> what? Just, I just come when I shit. Really? Yeah, absolutely, man. Because if wait, listen. How many times did you finish this story? But listen, time. if okay. you're on the job, I'll right? Finish this another time. Listen. Oh, what's that? What, what's that, Lurgy? You've had a story derailed by other people in the show, like <laughs> speaking over you or <laughs> shitting over your story. Is that what's happening, Lurgy? Story from my people? Are you just I'm, no, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm only, I I'm only, the gaze. I'm only curious, Lurgy, because you know how <laughs> rare has it happened when someone tells a story and somebody else point fingers might shit over that story. You know what I'm saying? Twice to me now. <laughs> <laughs> Why has it happened? I oh, thought no, you were done. I, okay. I thought you were done when you said about the, you know the. It's done. It's do done. you shit at work? Do shit, yeah, I do shit at work, yes. I. Will you be coming to work? Are we getting paid to spunk and shit? This no, 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 no. I'm a fucking... No, because if, 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 if you, if you, if you, you shit come. when you come, what if, you, what, if you're, what if you're on the job? You come when you shit, or you either shit when you come. It's, it's up to you. I don't want to shit when I come. Can I pick both? No, because, so, right, okay, listen. What, what if you're on the job, right, and you release a tie war, and then you shit whilst you're on the, in the act, right? You're... you're Pants are soiled anyway. <laughs> You're the wrong. Okay. I work with the dead people, so I'll just put them on that. <laughs> Steve, would you rather have hands for feet or feet for hands? Okay, this is time for the end of the show. You're for one inch into your mum, your dad's a one inch into you. Which way do you move to get out? <laughs> <laughs> on, on that note, we've had a great show tonight, folks. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is. is <laughs> My name is Scott Taylor, of course, I am the host of the show. Thank you very much for being around. Uh, please check us out at dhbradio.com. Also, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Mic drop. 
on the Facebook uh. chill search for the DHB radio show on Twitter at DHB radio uh, Lord G where can they find you apart from of course the Tilly Butcher 61 Hayton Road Aberdeen where else can they find you your mic clip's broken. What have you done, you fucking balloon? Oh, Why have you broken the phone? For oh, fuck's sake, geez, he's broken geez. the fucking microphone. Oh, you can so find me at 61 and then soon to be 63. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Steve, how can the people and the world here find you on the internet? They can't In my fuck toilet. Off. At Steve Asaurus, S-T-W-E-V, Asaurus. It's just essentially me on, on Twitter, Twitter. Either abusing... <laughs> Lord's got you, Lord's got you. I'm either abusing Nigel Farage or Dan Wooten. Pretty much are, yeah, yes, I've seen that. The majority of my tweets now are just calling them cunts. What about you, Kyle? Where can we find you on the lines? Um, your mouth's funeral or grinder. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's about it, you want it? Folks, yeah. it's been... Whoa! Hey. <laughs> we have to take that off the button for fuck's sake. It's going to be ruining our shows. Yeah. Um, the stop there hitting the buttons! Folks, it's been <laughs> wonderful. Been fun. Hand it oh, in. oh, for fuck's sake! St- I like how he, why does he thump it so hard? I know, no wonder yeah. it's fucked. I feel oh, for I know. Six hundred odd pound for that, and he's fucking I banging fuck with it. Because I feel sorry for your missus. Like he's fingering his hand. Okay, cheerio, folks. It's been my watch on top. Put the fucking pants. <laughs> It's been emotional. Cheerio. Good night. God bless. Twitch. You've been amazing. Cheers for phoning this up, D. It was good. Bye. To see Skype bye. Number. Bye. Yes, Beardy. Fucking whoever you are. Yes, Beardy Blair is still alive. Yes, still alive. Yeah. Yes, but my But no longer. Cheerio. Good night. Bye, folks. So <laughs> pay the fucking button. So I thought I'd get up early at 8 o'clock to beat the fucking death. <laughs> 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 I was watching your fucking spuds. <laughs> oh! oh. He's cut short. <laughs> 